All right. Good morning. Um. Oh, the Hidden Fates ETB. I'm gonna. So that closes today. That that giveaway. And I'm probably going to do that tonight or Wednesday night. I'll uh, go to the comic picker. Um, so if you guys are happen to be watching and didn't enter the Hidden Fates retail giveaway, you should definitely enter that. But this morning I'm just going to be sorting through the bulk from yesterday. And taking orders. I haven't opened my ETBs yet. Haven't had much shiny face, so I'm scared. I mean, if you just want to get shinies and not be necessarily only want the Charizard, you're going to probably get like a 50% pull rate, which is really good. The pull rate's really good. Uh, no, if um, when we pull the winner, whoever the winner is from the comments, we will contact them. Also, the Patreon giveaway ends today. I'll be po recording a video today and posting that in on the Patreon website, actually, because I can upload a, a longer video. And then we're announcing the new Patreon giveaway today, hopefully sometime. So we sorted a lot of bulk yesterday as we were going, but didn't get it all done. So if anyone joins... And you have a pre-order for Wednesday, but you want it open today. I, I can do that. But I'm just hanging out. Let me put on some, um, some of the music for you guys. So I'm going to turn this down a little bit. Let's do play all. All right. Let me know if the music is too loud or too quiet. Just doing, hanging out, talking Pokemon. Makes it more fun sorting bulk if I can stream it a little bit, so... Went to GameStop and pre-ordered Battle Style, say one to five, and we wanted to have an even amount. Oh, so you guys didn't get the fifth one because you didn't want, I gotcha. Well, only we're like less than a month away from Battle Style, so it's gonna come quick. It's gonna come very quickly. I opened a shiny face ETB yesterday. I thought it'd be a dud, but we got the rainbow. That was the best card. Hey, yeah, there's only one rainbow. Yes, it is. It is pretty relaxing. Um, but I got a lot. I got a lot to a lot to sort here from the 1,000 packs yesterday. Every time I see you join chat of the Jesus Housewife, I miss Dragon Ball Super. It's been like three years. I used to come home every Saturday night and watch watch uh, whenever they get the the caption version uploaded from Japan on Saturday nights. I would I'd be watching it. So we're gonna make quite a few, couple sets of Burning Shadows from yesterday's opening. Guess I'm gonna start sorting trainers out because I'm supposed to do that. Like I said, we're just hanging out. If anyone wants to order, we'll rip some packs. Just let me know if you place one.
We got quite a few rainbows yesterday, but no, no Charizard rainbow. I, I'm working my way to make room for my coffee and my mouse. Like everything is packed up here. <laughs> so I just jammed up. So either Twitter or I are probably gonna go live tonight with actual pack rates too when, when people are on. Cause it was like a bunch of people yesterday were wanting us to break packs, but that was just a, a celebration for the 5,000 subs opening those packs for us. Um, maybe if enough people are interested when we do the 6,000 subscriber celebration, we'll, we'll pre-sell packs for that and make it a big event so everyone can get in. Like we could open them up in advance, um, just depending on what set people would be interested in. I sent your um, Marcelo. I I dropped off your your J Rod's package yesterday. It's coming UPS, so should be to Arizona probably two to three days. I don't think that includes Sunday. So you might get that like Tuesday, Wednesday. Both your packages. You guys had two ETVs full of cards. It's always fun when people hold cards and then I get to go back and Make, put everything together and see all the hits that you had over the over like the past month and like oh yeah we got this we got that some really nice stuff but all of this bulk right here once we make our sets I'm gonna I just don't feel like sorting it into a bunch of sets like commons and common sets that would probably be the most beneficial for money wise but probably just trade it in on more product that's what we did with our last round of bulk. We traded in for five boosters of uh, battle styles. So I'm getting more excited to, for that to come out and open. Just because the cards will be new to me because I didn't open any of the Japanese set. ASMR. Yeah, I mean, if you watch more older videos, back when we were opening vintage packs, when I would pull a big card, I would scream pretty loud. I really don't get hype unless I pull you guys like the best card. Um, especially don't want to uh, fake the hype, which is not fun. But when we're doing more vlog style, I do get a little more excited, but there's nothing to, nothing to over yell about here right now. Um, also, it's early, so I probably sound different than normal. Like, I just just woke up, just got my first cup of coffee, so I probably have, like, a different tone to my voice this morning. But we uh, we ran a Shining Fates raffle last night. Uh, the Auto Gods won. So thanks for joining that, Vegeta's Housewife. And then we put up the um, we put up a Hidden Fates ETB raffle. I think there's three spots left at 20 spots, or $20. And... It's free USA shipping to the winner, so there's only eight. There's eight spots in that, three spots left for Hidden Fate CTB. I'm going to have a nice big code card video this month for anyone looking for codes. So basically, I just film all the codes being shown and a little music in the background and just put that up in its own video. ETB full of code cards down here. We already have, we have a lot of pre-orders for Wednesday. 
Wednesday's gonna be a big stream, so I might have to like cut off orders like pretty early into the stream because there's so many pre-orders. Hopefully it'll make it so people aren't asking for codes every stream. I hope so, but I also like hope to just tell them that that in hopes that they would actually like subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna put that video out because a lot of people that I that come in here for codes they come in here and then they don't ever show up again so um, that's kind of the sad part about it but it's whatever people are just looking for to make their pennies or get some codes for the game but I don't I don't know it does get tiring when they come in here every every time, but that way they like hopefully just stop asking during the stream. But can't blame it. I mean, it's mostly mostly kids that ask for the code cards, but. Like when I'm opening packs on video, I'll put them in there. I just don't like doing them on the on the live because then one person is most likely getting them all because it's usually like one person asking. Like if I do a long video, like a two hour video of codes or whatever it may be, then, then everyone who has notifications on gets a chance to jump in there and start entering codes, so. I'm sure some doing that way go unused because people start at the beginning and then they're all used and then they give up. But... Gotta tweak the night bot this morning. Gotta turn back on some of the normal timers we have. Let's see these timers. There we go. Shadows base set is 147 cards. So master set puts you at 300. There's Pokey Scissors still here. We got the Vulpix from your avatar. The low end Vulpix, really cool. Oh boy. Almost got room to set my coffee down in the right spot. Getting closer. Marcel, did you uh, watch? Did anyone watch Logan Paul? I know people on Discord were typing about it, but. I watched everything but like the last three packs. I saw one guy that sold him a box, not the box he opened. Got the Charizard, Pokey Wizard. But I was I was really hoping when he said this is Rusty's pack that it would uh, the guy who sold him the box, Charizard Authority, would get a Charizard. But there had already been two pulled at that point. But I was rooting for him. I've talked to Rusty for a long time. Like I traded with Rusty back in like 2013-14. We like traded booster boxes on some stuff. He's a really nice guy.
here. So now anytime I get burning shadows, I feel like I have to open it for myself because I think that it's gonna be, the Charizard's gonna be in the next pack. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. I gotta open every single one. Worked all day yesterday, didn't have time to tune in. Oh, working the weekend. But yeah, that's because you're on a you're on a closer time zone because you're yeah you're closer time zone. So like it wasn't that late for you comparatively to here. So yeah, I gotta pull up at some point. at least three I really thought it was going to be at least two like I got really lucky the first time I opened it with when back in the day when I opened I got it in two and a half booster boxes so it happens it happens yeah it was in the afternoon basically for you What's up, Meeks? At Meeks, Meeks, when you uh, Meeks won the Pikachu binder yesterday, Meeks. So I'll, I'll ship that with one of your next orders if you're going to be placing one soon. If not, let me know and I'll just ship the ship the binder. We got Meeks that 25th anniversary Pikachu binder. Pretty pumped about that. Those are it's a really cool binder. What's weird to me is there's more slots than than there are. Um, cards coming out so like there's the eight packs and I feel like there might be more promos that are going to come out that we don't know about Sorting bulk, we got to do the reverses, the hollow separate, the trainers separate. I don't know about reverse hollow trainers, but we will get through these piles today. I wanted to go outside today, but it's just raining all day. It's unfortunate. But yeah, like I said, we are open for orders. Anybody wants some early Sunday packs, we can get those get those broke. But I'm just hanging out, talking, talking Pokemon here, and doing this. It got taken down. What was it? Did this Pokey Wave like do like like taken down by YouTube or something that he would be in trouble for what he was doing? I don't think you can like harass minors on YouTube or something like you know you know it's his own nephew, so I'm not I'm not sure. Thanks guys for joining this morning. Everybody's waking up. Just sorting the bulk and open for packs if anyone's interested this morning. Just because so many people were asking yesterday. Just 
just figured I'd give it more of a chance here for anybody. But this is all the Burning Shadows bulk from the 1,000 packs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you can't do that. It's, it, especially if you have ads on. But such it was such a big event, even if you didn't have ads on, they probably would... They probably disable it because they, you're you you cannot you cannot like especially with music like take take other you're basically taking revenue from the Pokemon channel when you do that and that's risky. Like we streamed the Logan Paul opening last fall, but n nothing ever happened with that. There was no music, so. Yeah, that's that's a it's not good to get strikes against you. I really hope these trainers from the set grade well. Pulled a lot of full, full art trainers yesterday. Let me put this another pile over here. I gotta get a giant box for all this. It might have been more than a thousand packs. There's so many code cards. When you say, I wish I had a nephew, I was going to say, you're some poor ranch him. Dude, if I'm going to put a dressing on somebody, I'm going to blue cheese them. So I got the little crumbles in there. You can really rub those crumbles in. I'm going to blue cheese them. Chat, blue cheese them. What's up, Pedro, Peter? Peter Pedro, I saw you asking about your Charizards this morning in Discord. I would probably pay pay the money for any Charizard that ex express any Charizard that you can't like live without, man. Because bulk is going to take a year and a half at this point. So, I mean, I'm even to the point where I'm willing to express stuff for myself if it's a higher value card. Like, if it's going to come back and be worth five, six, seven hundred dollars $700, i am just going to express it so I can look at it when it comes back quicker, even though I'm really anti-paying, overpaying for express. Morning, Soba. Morning, everyone. I'm started sorting all the bulk here from, from yesterday. And we're open for orders. If anybody wants to do some more early morning pack ripping, let us let it become fun to hang out and chat. Pokemon. I would like to go try to trade this bulk in on more uh, battle styles or maybe some vivid restocks. Once I get it all sorted out, um, we drove we drove our bulk down last time to Savari Zone's physical store, which is not like fully open, but that we live like an hour and so away from there. So we called them and, and we just brought it in. I, but we had we counted all so they could give us the credit right on the spot. So. Tord is only like a year younger than me, but he just looks young. Like not even a year, probably like six months younger than I am. <laughs> What's up, Alex? Good morning. Second time here, didn't pull Charizard. Oh, I thought you were gonna bring that new viewer luck to us yesterday when you said it was your first time. <laughs> now I'm dealing with the aftermath. Was thinking to send the regular so don't, to save $25, don't mind waiting a month or so longer. And express okay regular so that regular thing is like how much is regular right now because I don't think they're offering that regular up to um, unless you're saying 50 versus 75 
I think 50 is the, the bottom floor for this, the faster time. Unless they change the names of them. Because I thought $50 was Express. What's up, Sam? Good morning. Morning, everybody. The $50 one is taking a while, but I, $75 is Express. Okay, Express seems like it's like eight weeks from total turnaround right now for the $75. That's how long it took my Joe Burrow to get back. Yeah, so $50 for regular eight months. I would probably just do the normal bulk then and see if PSA ends up speeding up. It seems like they're gonna raise the price of bulk again soon, I would think. Just because. They want people to stop sending so many cards, but I don't know. Every day PSA gets like a million millions of dollars in accounts receivable <laughs> future accounts money uh, so why why stop if people are still sending it you know what's up Andrew good morning Al what was the site for packs again I don't see a description oh for our our site is it not, oh yeah it's not it's not in the description this morning I guess I didn't type that in that's uh, that's it right there Yeah, usually it's in there. I don't know. This one has my default. It's weird. <laughs> my nose is running this morning. Seen a YouTuber get a regular express and regular and express mission back in the week in within a week's apart. So seen it together. Hmm. So some strategy possibly people are discussing. You know how like PSA advertises they take like 12 weeks to to um, upload your stuff. If you buy express and buy bulk or regular, put them together and write the highest tier on the box. They'll open the box and then they'll automatically log all the orders at that time and just to get your super fast order out there so you can almost send like a like pedro like send a sacrificial lamb like do the regular for 50 but send one card as express put it in there label the box express and then they'll take out both orders and get them in quicker it could save you like oh it could save you like weeks to a month months on on the regular stretch it out here this morning. Another big pile. We're getting close. Like we sorted probably 90% of this yesterday. So I have like six stacks left to actually sort and then everything else is done. Except getting the trainers out of the bowl, which is kind of unfortunate. But we're getting close. Port was doing a good job of doing it while we go along.
So after I get this done, there's no orders. I may open some Shining Fates for myself here because I gotta pull that Charizard at some point. I gotta pull it. Good morning, Mad Mellow. Early Sunday, gang. Glad some of us are awake and ready to go. Um, if you want it all shipped now, it should just be the, I think, that'll cover it. That'll be fine. That binder doesn't weigh very much, so the $5 standard should be good. Unless, yeah, just do the $5 standard. If you still don't want your bulk in that, in that, just let me know. What's up, Raymond? Welcome. Good morning, Pokemon community. Yes, good morning, guys. Sunday morning stream. I might stream tonight. Kayla's got a thing going on. Probably get some, just tonight would just be pack. Would just be packs. So. I gotta catch up on all the giveaways. I gotta get all those, I gotta get more stamps to send them out. From Wednesday. I said screw and purchase General Mac, General Mills pack on eBay. Looked in too many stores with no hope. Yeah, I don't, I thought someone told me like the full like nationwide launch was until this week coming up, but you just never know. Yeah, Benny, I, I mean, yesterday so many people were asking uh, to want to do some packs during the stream or after the stream, so I just figured why well, I'm sorting this bulk, if anyone wanted to get in on some packs, we could, but I just thought you'd want to hang, so this is a... Uh, a lot of bulk sorting right now. I just thought they didn't come out in Kentucky. I mean, you never know, but it just depends on what kind of like supply chain your grocery store has. Um, and what volume they do. All right, Meeks, I got that order. Give me a second, we're gonna do this. Let me clean up the bulk spot. Three, three shining fates this morning. Meeks. Meeks, I saw that you did the uh, ETB battle on Trav's channel. So I saw you, the other guys ended up getting Chris Scott Lazar. So. I don't think we pulled every um, every goal, uh, every rainbow. We might have got every gold, but I don't think we got every rainbow. So, so I want to get Meek Cesar because I saw that he lost that ETV battle. That was, yeah, that was. I mean, you were in the hole with the Lapras, and then, boom, <laughs> he, Chris got the Zard. Then it's just pretty much guaranteed over you know it would have been worse though if you also got the zard but then lost and like lost anyways um, so i'll put this with your binder what's up b 
So after we open these packs, I'll just keep sorting bulk and hanging out. Gonna find my trash can. My room was clean, then a mess, and we're trying to make it clean again. The Salvo box is gonna have some nice. Speaking of the Salvo box, Meeks, you need to sell me the Salvo right here. <laughs> uh, Salvo box is gonna have some Burning Shadows hits in it. Going forward. What's up, Pokemon Sculpture Center? Doesn't help that my Walmart doesn't sell cards anymore. And that's what I was told. It just seemed a little bold faced lie. People in the stores are getting very rude. Yeah, because they're getting asked so many questions every second of the day. Sobble, baby. Sobble shiny. I mean, if stores are having enough problems, they're going to stop selling cards. Like, I, I envision the future Target and Walmart won't actually sell cards. Yanma, more Peko, Coughing, Gossifer, Bulk Cannon, and Celebi. Yeah, Meeks, if you want your bulk still, let me know. Usually you mark no bulk, but I know you're trying to get that shipping right, so it's up to you if you want it or not. More Peko, Butzel, Nicket, Cacnea, Qfont, Decidui, and Professor's Research. Yeah, I love the shiny Sobble. First order of the day. So yeah, we got like five piles left, five or six piles. In that sobble. Okay. You got it, bud. Sobble is cool. Looks good. Yeah. Uh, B, I tried to buy that, but then I also, uh, there was some, there was some in there in my car. And when I added Miracle Twin to my car, it said I bought the most of that type of product that I was allowed to buy at a time and I would have to make multiple orders and pay multiple shipping. All right, Nate, have a good day at work. I couldn't sleep last night, so I decided to open a Champions Path ETB I'd gotten from Focus Center Center. I pulled the rainbow heart so I haven't slept. You must be so hype. So, so hype. That's crazy. Oh, I got an order from, from Benny here. So we're gonna break on the bulk here again. Four sword and shield booster packs. So yesterday I restocked a ton of uh, sword and shield as well as uh, Rebel Clash. We restocked some Vivid. We also, what else did we restock? We stocked uh, Forbidden Light for the first time. Um, we restocked Fates Collide. Employees that are just like, you know, doesn't care. Pedro, what a, I see you said sent payment. What, what exactly did you send payment for? All right, Benny, Sword and Shield, you want the Snorlax? Yeah, the Forbidden Light packs, I tried to keep them like 
I think I have them for two for ten. I saw that like Troll and Toad TCG, they're they're eight bucks, but like I don't know why they're eight bucks. Like that doesn't make sense to me. So I think I have like limited amount. Uh, two for ten on Forbidden Lights. There's my Galarian Ponita, Cottony, Haunter Reverse, Nine Tails. There's the Racky. Wacky. Oh, okay. I don't. I didn't see it. Let me refresh the uh, the site again here. Snom, Mawile, Glossifer, Goldie, Diglett. Metal Saucer and Cramorant. Yeah, because the booster box price shot up. I guess that makes sense, but. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I see it. I see it in there. Rosalia, Ghastly, Pawniard, Sizzlepeed, Silly Cobra, and Galarian Obstagoon. Hollow. Alright. Inteleon B Max. Oh, that Inteleon's pretty cool. Yeah, I can hold this for Wednesday, Vinny. We got Clavapus. If anyone has emotes this morning, drop those dabs. Wulu. Sobble. Pinsterchin. Flip Blug. Reverse Clavapus. And a Musher. Mush R. Nah. What is that? What is that? What is this? I've never seen this one before. We had a winner take all pack battle of Vivid. 45 person. Wow. Yeah, Inteleon is nice. So let me put Benny as a hold. We got Pedro up next. It's a bunch of mush. Yeah, I mean. <clears throat> Alright, Chris. Cool. Appreciate any new subs. Thanks for joining us. 1593. And four shining fates. No bulk. Alright. Four shining fates. <laughs> Horse pulled three Shining Fate Charizard so far. I've pulled zero, so I gotta step it up. Yanma, Trap Inch, Shinx, Rowlet, Eevee, Rusted Sword, and Galarian Weezing. Case ETB from Osborne. Osborne's got the hookup, man. 
he must hit like he must either backdoor Walmarts or or hit hit a lot of restocks. He gives pretty good deals. I bought some. Uh, he's opened a bunch of stuff. I bought some single shiny lots from him. He had pretty good pricing on those. He just hooked me up with some extras. So, are you gonna open all those meats? Futsal, Shinx, and Boss's Orb. Two, one shiny hit for Pedro. All right, so now back to sword and some burning shadows. Old pickups used to upload. Yeah, back when you could really hit the pavement and get some stuff like flea markets and local buyers. Probably for the last like four or five years, 99% of the people selling locally, they know what they have, they looked it up. So that's pretty much impossible. Even for the last five years, eBay deals are almost impossible. Probably like the first two years we were doing it. Uh, that's like we got a first edition Charizard for a hundred dollar lot on eBay, we were just looking through. Where now, if you look at any item, any listing on eBay, it's got like a million viewers, million views, and like it's like it's up for like ten minutes as a million people already looked at it. So it's it's rough. Yeah, Benny just uh, we tried to keep the chat family friendly the best we can. So, but I I can see your message, but then it doesn't get approved. Almost done sword in this bulk. Yesterday, Chad, the only, <laughs> I accidentally opened a Rebel Clash pack and it fell into my box of Burning Shadows. I'm like, oh, I got a rainbow. And I didn't, until Andrew pointed out, didn't realize that this was a different set. And the set logos aren't that far apart. Like, I just went right along thinking there was V Maxes and Burning Shadows. I bought two Shine Star V Boxes for Jan. I needed to get two ETVs and I'm done. Are you talking about that like big promo box? that we're ready for so happy i pre-ordered battle styles for a box round 100 for a month ago like yeah all of a sudden like everyone was sleeping on battle styles like i ordered a bunch at the 80 dollars that i normally order it at and then boom it was 100 boom it was 125 boom it was 150 it's crazy um yes pokemon oh man that's a sore subject so that was my eBay, because like I was selling replica Game Boy games at one point, and my eBay was limited when we were getting back into Pokemon, so I had to make a new one. And I was like, Torp, buy this lot. There's a first edition Charizard. It was like pretty late at night. So he bought it, and it graded out a, uh, a 7. And I guess like two years ago, Torp sold it for like seven, 800 bucks. Out of anything Torp's ever sold, I was like, why would you sell, <laughs> why would you sell your best card? It was the high, highest value, but Torp doesn't sell hardly anything. And yeah, so next time you see Tor, ask him what he did with his first edition Charizard because he doesn't have it anymore. Yeah, I think Battle Styles is going to be fun. Like, there's going to be a lot of nice cards, new style cards. Oh, look at this chat. I always set these cards to the side. That's real. You don't even have hardly any border at the bottom. <clears throat> But yeah, we will have a bunch of burning sh uh, battle styles um, when it comes out here for the for the streams. I want to open a couple boxes for ourselves, for ourselves, and yeah. I don't know what. Yeah, I didn't. What is there? Is there uh, battle styles premium? So Pokemon Sculpture, how long have we been watching our videos or did you just check out the, the older ones? Because I say not many people, because we were inactive for a while, like out of our 5,000 subs we might have like a couple thousand active just because people probably don't have those accounts anymore. Open some Darkness Ablaze. 
I do need to open more darkness blades. We got to get that set done. But Tort and I pulled the Charizard. Oh, I got an order. I got an order, guys. It's for Brian R. Brian, I'm not sure what your new username is in the chat. It's order 1596. All right, two hidden fates and three shiny fates. Uh oh, it's like my last, my last hidden fates. So we're gonna finally see some fates versus fates here. Oh, premium Japanese version. All right, so we're gonna. Go pack for pack here. Start with the Shining Fates. Futsal. Spinner Arc. Shinx. Coughing. Horsey. And our first shiny, full art shiny of the day. Grim Snarl V. Oh, double hit pack here with the Piers. Nice way to start it off for Brian. Cool. All right, now, now on the hidden fates. Piers is very cool. Can't believe we got the Piers, but not the Marn. Clefairy. Coughing. Graveler. And Jolteon. I started following you years ago whenever another two mentioned the Flood. I had only a YouTube account of their name. I gotcha. Yeah, so Tony made a video of the Flood event. And then it got taken down, but a lot of people in E4 got a hold of it. Um, so that's how a lot of people like know of our channel, which is a sad identifier, but Cinderace VMAX. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, Tony's video got taken down. I told him he could make that video. I'm not sure why he really wanted to. All right, second hidden fate. Yeah, Japanese print quality, it's just a different product in your hand. Different product. Slowpoke, Magikarp, Pikachu, Voltorb, Snorlax Reverse, and Mr. Mai. I think I only have like two Hidden Fates packs left, and I, they might already be pre-sold for Wednesday. All right, last pack, Brian. Let's see if we get another hit. Uh, essentially, you can check my Instagram. I have some videos on it. Um, I bought my parents' house. Ooh, Galarian Farfetch, my one of my favorite baby shinies. I bought my parents' house, and I kept my Pokemon in a big plastic tub. Um, and my I was I traveled for work a lot at the time, and my dad decided like he moved. They all, my parents moved out. The house was mine. I was coming home for the weekend. My dad decided midweek to get one of his buddies to um, change the sump pump in the basement that controls groundwater. And we have a backup pump. So his buddy put in a new pump, never checked it, that it was still like working properly. The backup pump was never, was not working. So I came home to water in the basement and the water displaced the container and flipped it over somehow, even though the water was never high as the container and my entire sealed collection which was worth about 15,000 at the time got ruined um so that's basically it which i mean that's where we always kept my stuff and like that tub was so big that you would literally have to go for all like the amount of groundwater that would have to come in was crazy but somehow it displaced this 80 pound tub and flipped it over so and that collection value today would probably be like well over a half a million, but it was only 15,000 at the time. 
And basically I quit Pokemon for a year after that. Like I sold all my PSA cards and was pretty much just done because all the hard work I'd put on, put into that was gone. So, but yeah, if you scroll down my Instagram, you'll see some videos, uh, some clips on that. I did save 88 packs out of all those boxes. Uh, so like I'm, I'm not traveling for work as much the last couple years. Like I had a big giant job that was an hour from my house. So I drove there every day and now, um, I'm working five days a week and doing smaller projects. So I don't have to travel in the same long period durations. But yeah, like it was definitely not fought, thought through by my dad to have a sump pump replaced when no one was going to be home to check it. Just assuming that it would work. And since it was his buddy, like there's nothing you can do, nothing with insurance. Um, yeah, so that was kind of heartbreaking. I probably only had like three grand into it. Like all the, the, the sealed that I had was like paid for by PSA sales and trading and buying and selling and whatnot. But um, I should have just refocused and kept buying because I always just kept buying sealed. I only collected like a few high-end PSA cards. I never, I never, um, really liked PSA cards as much as sealed because I mean sealed quantity only goes down PSA quantity goes up um, so yeah that was that was like my golden goose like luck in life right there was to have that but at the same time chat like it's worth that today there's nothing that says that I would have not sold off way sooner like I sold a bunch of I had two team rocket booster boxes and a Neo Genesis first edition all three first edition a year ago and I sold them all in February for like now that's like one fifth of the market price so like even though I had that collection I could have sold off in 2017 18 like as prices went up yeah so like we did open a ton of stuff though like we opened two Aquapolis boxes on the channel we've opened a bunch of gym heroes gym challenge boxes base set packs fossil packs jungle packs um, I never really I never bought a uh, base set first base set box because they were so easy to get and there wasn't a lot of money in opening base set <laughs> Let's slow down the Zard hunt yeah I need to get one I gotta open some packs some more packs I've been opening a lot of packs off camera and Kayla's been opening a lot of packs so haven't been as many videos of us opening shining face Like I think like last year or 2019, it was probably worth 100K. Who who says I wouldn't have sold it off for 100K or even had all that? Like you just never you never know what would have happened. Six K for the spike. Yeah, I mean everybody who sold anything prior to March, April last year is just beating themselves up. So, yeah, I mean you never know when that's going to be <laughs> when they're going to be coming and calling and asking for money. Uh, meets it's like it's like a uh, a standard rehearsal at this point because a lot of people have asked. If you guys are interested uh, in like more detail about that, if you look up Pokemon Radar's podcast, like Pokemon Radar Personal Pokedex, uh, we did we did an interview. Obviously, like a lot of people from E4 wanted to know that story because like Tony's video is not necessarily was the most accurate video on, the, on what happened, but I had quit, so I really wasn't paying attention to what to what the video was. Yeah, Gary V. Gary V is uh, now like Gary V. He's all right, but like he comes from a different like model of I don't know. He's like all about that super over motivating like bootstrapping kind of stuff, and like that's not necessarily the style that I have when it comes to financing. That's a, like more of a boomer methodology to me, but 
a Pokemon podcast. I mean, back in like May, I had an idea for like a, a short YouTube, like 20 minute format for like a, a, an origin thing. Like basically just interviewing someone in the community really quickly. Uh, but now, just because so many more podcasts are popping up, it's like, do we really need another podcast? I feel like the streams that I'm doing when I'm, especially ones like this, are basically essentially a podcast. It's just, everyone has to find their own thing. And what I don't, like, I want to help you guys with good info. I just don't want to be a news page. I just don't really want to, like, every day make a video and be like, here's the new set coming out. Like, I only want to tell you about it if I think that it's worth that you should pre-order. So I don't want to become a news page, and I really don't want to compete in the podcast space. I would like to be on more podcasts, but uh, I just think now Randolph has one with Graded Jim or whatever, and then Radar has like three variations of his podcast that are, he put out the new, the first episode of The King and I now, so he's got that going on. Um, what happens when PSA grab their money, but they they can't do they keep the cards? I mean, yeah, they're gonna wait for you to pay. I mean, I put everything on a credit card, so it's really never a question of like them taking the money. They just charge the credit card and send it, and I'll just pay the credit card bill. But yeah, I mean, every time you see Gary V post something, he's already made a move to secure his position. So like, basically. Gary Vee's not much different than the crypto guys, and that's why you saw all the crypto people buying last night. Like, these crypto people have gotten rich off of pushing a lot of coins that, um, uh, yes, we are open for orders if you want to order. We'll break them now. Zardhan Tor. <laughs> I mean, you watch Pokemon Radar's podcast, and you guys can tell me how you think that we would do on a podcast, but it's just like, there's so much, there are more people that have more valuable, like, stories, information, like, Pokemon Radar is great because he's in, he's, he knows, like, everybody big in the community and has dealt with them. He goes to all those events, he goes to Stevie Aoki, like, that's stuff that we haven't grinded in the last few years and we weren't grinding the whole time to, like, make a lot of those connections. A lot of the Poketubers that we talk to either don't Poketube anymore or they're just different or the Poketubers now watched us before they started Poketubing and they're way bigger than we are but yeah I mean credit cards the way to go but you just I mean don't overextend yourself I pay off my credit card every month but I just like to put it on there to get points so but it does give you a little more flexibility <sighs> well yeah if you guys make an order uh, what happened to Tony? Did he just dis disappear? Yeah, Tony disappeared. I still talk to Tony every couple months. I helped him grade his... If you guys go back a couple months at the first edition Charizard I graded, that was for Tony. I helped him sell it and paid him the money. I like this Titan community is pretty cool. Yeah, I'm not going to say like I yeah, we want to grow, but like the more we grow, the less you, the, you lose that community aspect. And that's where I'm really hoping Discord can keep. Like I'm trying to keep the discord community to a certain uh, a certain feel um not that i'm complaining about new members but we did get a lot of members from a reddit link i guess one of our members shared that they got a deal from this discord and a bunch of people joined who have never even seen the channel or heard watch one of our videos so it kind of changed the attitude of the discord there for a minute but I will just like ban people who who don't like make the you know keep the discord community like in the way that I kind of want it to be curated just not just not over I don't know I what I'm gonna say is if any of you guys are on Burbank I do not want our the TCD deals reddit or discord I do not want our discord or our community to end up like Burbank where it's just like all everyone does is complain and is unhappy. Like that's not, we're just playing with cards. And they just, every time I open Facebook, everyone in Burbank is just upset. Just over, just upset. That's all it is. They're upset. 
and it's exhausting. I mean, guys, I don't know why, like, someone like PokeRev don't... Matt is getting upset. Yeah, that, see, Matt told me to not at everyone when it was my, in my server. Like, if any scenario where we ever got, like, five, six, seven, eight hundred people ever, like, watching a stream, I would put on, uh, I would put on member-only mode, like, PokeRev lets everyone chat. I would it just like big Twitch streamers do, sub only, member only. That way you can slow down the chat. You can see other chatters that you see regularly. Like you can have some kind of like community feel if you got like a couple hundred members uh, talking instead of like five thousand people spamming one button the whole time. So that's that's what I would do. Yeah, and then Matt was, Matt, uh, I just told, like, that's why I put all those channels in slow-mo, because people were having conversations on every, in every channel, and that was too much. Uh, what credit card companies you, do they require? Does each company offer certain amounts you can spend? I mean, if it's your first credit card, you might get a limit of, like, 500 a month. Um... What do they require? They just, they, since it's your first card, you're gonna have to like, you, you, you basically all credit card apps ask your like income, your address, your profile, like what your age is, your address, uh, if I said that, social security. And then if, as you open more credit cards, you obviously will have a chance to, you'll have a credit score and they'll go off that. Dr. Disrespect. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, that's what you gotta do. So when I go to Rev's chat, I just like turn chat off because I can't like even track what's being said. Now I think on YouTube you can click a button to look in a members only chat if you're the if you're the host so you can see what your members are saying. But I don't think you're unless I'm wrong chat, you don't have a a way to click members only and just see what members are saying. So like that's just what you gotta do. Even though that kinda hurts. Yeah. Burbank is bad, you should see the Yu-Gi-Oh! Black Market. Alright, we got an order. That's the ding. I turned the, no the noise on since I'm not really looking at the website. Alright, let me finish this pile. And we will rip some more packs. You can lock me out from commenting if I'm not a member. Yes. Uh... Yep, I just, just got it. Fifteen ninety-seven. Six vivid. All right, first vivid of the day. I'm pumped. I don't have much vivid, so you guys are eating it up. Only fans chat. So yeah, I don't have an OnlyFans meets, but we do have the Patreon. So there's a whole private area of Discord for Patreon only. Um, so that's where we do we do a lot of chatting in there. And there's a Patreon only voice chat. So six vivid. Good luck. So we do have a we do have a Patreon only chat. Meow. Chimeco. Blitzel, Carolis, and Fortress. I just call it Fortress. Fortress. That one went over your head. No, I mean, 
an OnlyFans chat. I mean, I know what OnlyFans is, if, unless that, uh... <laughs> I just try to move it along and not, not dwell into the, into the, to the... I don't want to talk about OnlyFans. You can have, like, you can have an OnlyFans just like a Patreon, um, and then not be what, what most people use OnlyFans for. Um, one guy I follow, Fran Fran Nations, he has an OnlyFans. And it's just like for video content, shoes and stuff. Cottony, Kakuna, and Mudsdale. Patreon instead. <laughs> Woobat, Aracuda, Seedot, Fampy, Voltorb, and Ninjas. Alright, one hollow hit so far. We gotta get We gotta get Rizwan a hit. No, no, it's very clean. OnlyFans does not have to be the way that you guys say it is. Chetot, Cotney, Joltik. Mudbray, Chudol, and Colossal V. Yeah, B, that's fine. You got my address. I want to say zero, Pedro. Zero signups. Let's get these hits sleeved up. I do like the Colossal. All right, guys. No more OnlyFans discussion. <laughs> I'm not gonna ban anybody, but get these put in here and top loader before shipping. What's up, Jose? Welcome. I don't think I have much. That's there's probably like ten packs of Vivid left. Of Vivid left. All right. A little more to sort, guys. We're almost done sorting the Burning Shadows. For how much, like, to be honest with you guys, for how much you guys have spent, some like Benny and Meeks, on packs, your Patreon already would have paid for itself, like, for like three months uh, with the discount. Just give, just plugging it out there. Um, I, the Patreon discount is worth the membership plus then you get the other benefits thoughts on grading japanese base set everyone was making a, a, a seal a deal about those and logan's i mean i guess maybe they're thinking this japanese base set is undervalued possibly but i mean we're gonna get another bump like they were dude they were all in on it last night saying that the Charizard is guaranteed to go 500, and then oh yeah, because it's a Logan break, we think it's worth like 750. But we did see Logan restart the market, reset the market to the 400,000 price, and then there was a retrace. So we'll probably see the market come close to a million expected value here for a base set box, and then retrace. But I think they pushed a lot of people out already, so the volume of buyers might be subject to that like you might not have the volume there to take the prices to the level to meet that evaluation on a box so yeah i'm not trying to push the patreon but like when i see people consistently ordering having that discount would have paid for it plus you get the the patreon giveaway is today monthly giveaway that we're doing and then you get the extra areas of discord which is usually where i put out links first and put out uh, what, like what to buy and whatever. Logan thought he could quit Pokemon. Logan just made that up. Uh, yeah. How about that? That his friend is so annoying and like, I can't believe he still lets him sit there. Like he could pick anybody better 
that actually like pre I mean he just like, tries to be funny too much but like really appreciates the cards that would be way more entertaining but that's his buddy so I mean I'm not no I don't think anyone's a fan of Logan Paul except goobers the Maverick Club more I think it would have paid for years of Patreon I opened 12 Shining Fate C's 510's with Pokétrap and then leaves 13 Shining Fate packs here you had wait what oh under ET with Pokétrap and I have two more oh, yeah it's only weekend what do you do with your bulk um so I make, I'm making binder sets but we're gonna go trade our bulk in to Safari Zone they were running a really good order, like a really good trade in for uh, battle styles last time. So I'm gonna call them and see if they got any specials. But I think right now, if you wanted to cash out your bulk, uh, they were it's four forty dollars for a thousand common and uncommon, which is crazy good. That's the highest they said they've ever seen. So when we went down to Safari Bulk, guys, they told us that in that last week, right before we got there on the weekend, they. Uh, they shipped out like two and a half million cards. Is that really his uh, girlfriend, Riley Reed, right now? Because someone last night in Discord said that he was dating Lana Rhodes. So, or previously, which that just tells you everything. <laughs> you really need to know about that guy. Ugh. Oh, Benny, welcome to the emotes. Thank you. Every time we get more members, we get more emotes that we can add. So that's pretty cool. Text from Tor. I'm not a fan of Logan Gator. Does anyone else understand that he does... He just has money and met a guy named Gary. Uh, I mean, I think he, like, if that other guy wasn't there, like, Logan was way more enthusiastic last time about the box, but he did buy a box open every year. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But, I mean, if you look at it like this, Everyone in a position of power is able to, whether they love Pokemon or not, are able to profit from it. So, like, even though Rev loves Pokemon, Rev can pay a record price for a box, sell it to people at that price. Even if he didn't want, even if he didn't sell at a new market record, Rev makes so much revenue that he could sell the packs for whatever, take a loss on the box, and make the money off of YouTube revenue. So... When you have people that, like Logan, that can, the, the revenue comes in from so many ways, it's really uh, just finding that catalyst to get the revenue. So Pokemon is a catalyst that has a lot of revenue around it that can throttle you into like a certain level of notoriety, right? So like, it's, it's, pretty much a fail safe system is basically what I'm saying. So Logan could pick like in 10 years, he could pick the next popular thing and whether he's into it or not, it's, it, it moves, it moves mountains. Right. So, but he definitely was more into it last time. And I, I mean, even though this guy's on the internet his entire life, it, I, I thought he was feeling the pressure to pull people stuff because these people all overpaid for their packs and they're all people who probably been buying coin for years that have tons of money they don't know what to do with and they just want to get their their website name out there and steal more money from people <laughs> basically like i like crypto but a lot of people who like promote promote it all the time they they're just promoting it to just try to get whatever coin they have a bunch of early. So it's no different than Gary Vee promoting cards is because he um, I don't, is Pokemon going to crash when the pandemic is over? That's a good question. I think if we even maintain half the people that we got 
then we're going to be fine. But at the same time, like, the people who don't care about the pandemic are the type that wouldn't collect Pokemon cards. They're, the pandemic is already over for them. Like, if you, depending on what state you live in, tons of people don't care. They're not staying home and playing with Pokemon. And I think if you're willing, like, I think to say that pandemic helped a lot of people discover it again, I don't think a lot of people are going to leave who actually care about it. I think the people that are going to leave are going to be all these people that are buying cards at whatever price they can get their hands on and sending them to PSA and then losing their butts because they didn't, because they overpaid for stuff. Like they didn't, like they just thought buy a card and sell it. Patreon is activated. Uh oh. All right. Well, I'll have to set you up with your email and I'll have to, your final form, the ultimate subscriber. How about the kid from Connecticut who purchased a pack and won the pack giveaway? Yeah, that was crazy. I really thought all the buyers were going to be YouTubers and Twitch streamers, but it was all crypto people, which I guess they wanted to waste the money, but I don't know. I, I, I went to sleep before Guru came up. Appreciate it. What's up, Willoughby? Willoughby? Is it Willoughby? Willoughby. Yeah, I don't know why he'd laugh at that. Like, n unless it's nervous laughter, dude. I don't... I don't know. PokeTubers.club. Tor got a ticket for parking in front of our driveway. That makes no sense. Um, right now I'm just sorting bulk until we get orders. Yeah, I mean, he parked in front of our driveway. It everyone does that though. It says, it says someone called like dispatch call for Westchester Parking Authority. Not even like a cop. So I don't. Torch's never gonna come over again if he can't park in a driveway. What this makes no sense, and the address is wrong. That's in, like where we live, the parking authority would never drive through there. So somebody in our neighborhood called, called on tour. <sighs> That's just crap. No, I mean, there's not even traffic flow. Dude, every person in our neighborhood that has people come over park in front of their driveway. I'm so confused. Like, the address this person put? 300 block Granite Alley. That's not even the right place. All right. Got. Um, I think that's all the bulk, guys. That's the whole, the whole kit and caboodle right there. This pile is, 
All right, one more pile. Yeah, sorry I'm ranting about that. Should I sealed my sell my sealed 20th anniversary space set box? No. CP6? Do not sell. It's a great box. If you only have one, don't sell it. All right, Benny, since you joined Patreon today, you are... Um, You are entered. You're in the giveaway. So, all right, Benny. I'm. Uh, I just tagged him in Discord so I can give you the rolls. Here. All right. So you should see the private access. Oh, let me make your email. Benny here, Benny, Benny, Benny. Now you are Patreon shopper on the website, so you can use the discount code. Done. All right, back to that. think so I mean I just don't know maybe his route running is not where it needs to be I just think the reason that CD is on the inside is because Gallup can't play the inside and Gallup's got to be on the outside of numbers and then Cooper's just such an elite route runner that he can play any anywhere but I think it's mainly because Gallup is there and Cooper is probably best on better than him at that so No shiny Zard yet. We've opened a couple packs. Right now I'm, I'm still sorting that bulk in between orders. That Burning Shadows bulk. Guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to get some more coffee. Just be right back.
say, I wasn't even there. What is this? Picture's blurry. Ask for the real picture. Because if they wrote the wrong address, and there's no hydrant here, and they send you the real pictures at my house, then they have no case. Yeah. All right, I'm hanging out. All right. Bye, guys. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, lactose intolerant. I've been using almond creamer, but it doesn't do the same. <sighs> yeah, I can't believe Guru showed up again. So, chat. The ticket that Torcott said you parked near a fire hydrant and has a different address in town, and there's no fire hydrant near my house. And the picture's so blurry, you can't tell what's what. So, I told him just to fight the ticket. <sighs> well, I just jam that up. Alright chat, we're done sorting the bulk. All thousand packs have been sorted. So thank you. A little sneezy this morning. Hashtag free tort. Fifty dollar ticket. So like it says it was dispatch and it was some parking lot that Tort and I didn't even park at last night. And the picture it's so blurry, it's hard to tell. Sometimes I get oat milk creamer, but you just go to McDonald's. Uh, <laughs> well, we don't live together, so he's not my son. He doesn't live here. Uh, yeah. The picture of his car, of his car, right? And it's like super blurry that you can't even. Like, that looks like that may be a deck, a neighbor's deck by my townhouse. But they just made up a violation. Like, this location is way gone, way down there. And it says 15 feet of fire hydrant. I just went out and checked my driveway. There's no fire hydrant in any side. So, but this is what pisses me off. Because last night, Tor came over, only parked at my house. We went and picked up food and we didn't get out of the car. So someone in my neighborhood called and then the person who's writing tickets just made up a ticket. So that is crap. Unless Tort went somewhere and didn't tell me. And it's just, you know, we don't know. So, yeah. Not guilty. All right. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Back. So I'm going to get some of these orders shipped right now since you guys are here, here chilling. Did you get my Patreon payment? Uh, hold on, let me see Meeks. I don't like get emails right away. So you guys are gonna be into the giveaway I'm gonna pull today for the Patreon. So the, the $5 a month gets you three entries. All right, Meeks, I got it. So let me add the, um, let me add you to Patreon here on the website and in Discord. Um, Thanks for joining Patreon. I placed an order, Big Al. All right, we're gonna get that in one second. Uh, view customer, boom. Patreon saved. So Benny and Meeks, you can use code Jim and 10 to get your discount. Let me add Meeks to the Patreon here in Discord.
Um, it's like seven to eight percent on all your orders. Plus, there's lots of other uh, benefits. You guys can look over that. We have a monthly Patreon exclusive giveaway, Discord special areas of Discord. Uh, fifteen ninety. Uh, let me see. So, John, no. So, John, I, I'm just streaming for fun right now. Anything that is placed in between streams will be open Wednesday. But if you're here and want me to open your 1590, I will. But everything that's ordered when I'm not streaming is all a ghost for Wednesday. Wednesdays. So, I would I would not open people's orders, pre-orders ahead of time. All right, Mr. Smith. Let's go. So yeah, I gotta get a, a way to get that up across where we stream a lot for fun. Like in the uh, and if you pre-order when we're not live, it'll be if you order when we're not live, it'll be for Wednesday's breaks. Unless unless you join and say, hey, can you do my can you do my break now? The real question is, where were you and Tor doing in a lot for someone to complain? So other nothing it's just like my my townhouse like i have a driveway and you can park behind, like here in front of my driveway and people go around so someone complained but the, none of that makes everything else was a lie on the ticket unless sort went somewhere and didn't tell me so all right good luck mr smith we'll see you later benny Trap Inch, Yanma, Coughing, or Pecco, Horsey, oh, almost skipped it, Toxicity V, so first pack shiny, very nice. Philosopher, Cacnea, Choodle, Eevee, Nicket. Oh, we got something here. Indeedy, and Green and V. Plot twist. Tort pulled the Zard out of a ticket envelope. Dude, it's like a little piece of paper. Like we would have noticed that on the car. And the time they the time they wrote it up was like right when we got back from eating. Q font, Spinner Arc, and Dreadnought. Yeah, uh, John, I'll leave it up to you. Wednesday is our main, our main breaking day. So if you want me to open right now, I'll do it. If you want to save it for Wednesday for the big evening stream, either is good. It's it's uh, completely up to you. I just don't, like I said, I don't have a great way to communicate that. Like, I would never go live and just start opening people's packs if they didn't have a chance to see it and we got a rookity and oh yeah rose so nice nice hits nice double double pack a couple shinies and a full another four trainer this morning did i miss did i miss it oh dude guys i always see that i just don't acknowledge what you're trying to say because <laughs> you're always taking it down in the gutter man always taking it down in the gutter we weren't in any parking lot. I'm telling you, the only thing that could have happened is Tort Park somewhere. Uh, shiny toxicity in a ten. I'd say every shiny lower tier like this would be like one twenty five, one fifty in a ten, maybe two hundred. Just depends if people. The early ones will probably be more expensive. All right, we'll do yours next. Thanks, Miss Mr. Smith, for joining in this morning. Um, all right, fifteen ninety coming at you. Uh, so Rizwan, I won't ship the tins, but also I'll refund you. I'll combine it with your other, with your other orders.
So the oh guys, so the ticket the ticket was just a piece of paper. Like it wasn't an envelope. It was literally just a printout and his roommate found it on his windshield this morning. So But yeah, I'll refund your shipping if you when you pay shipping twice and then I'll just send you the cards and the promo from the tin if you're interested in the tin. So the tins don't have team up. They are reprints. They they have Burning Shadows and possibly Evo, which I've seen a lot of them have Evo. All right, fifteen ninety for John. So John, it's your first time first time buy, or it just says your second order actually. All right, five shining fates. No bulk. All right. We're just guilty of pulling fire. That's what I'm saying. His roommate brought this in. I feel like they made a fake ticket. They came over and trolled him last night. Because they were in the area. Alright. Five shining fates, guys. Good luck to John. Yeah, that's a pre-printed ticket. This potch. Glossifer, Nicket, Cacnea, Qfont, Butzel, Snom, and Frosma. Some more extra time with Al. Yeah, we spent a lot of time together yesterday. I'm just like, even if the ticket is like messed up, I really think I just I'm I'm annoyed if my neighbors called in about someone parking in the street when that's what everyone does. That's what's making me mad. Moth and Dreadnought. Grookey, Chromorant, Baby Shiny, and another Frost Moth Hollow. You almost get Baby Shinies more than you get the Hollows from the set. That's right. Drop those likes. That'd be cool. Not doing any giveaways particular this morning, but likes always help the streams get more recognized. Coughing, Rowlet, and Volcanion. All right. So only we got three hits, but two regular hollows. Not, not the best, but. Do you have three? I only have two tag team tens left. Pretty sure. Unless there's, I think there's only two of one type in stock. EV promos. Well, I think people who express them will get a lot of money, but like when the bulk comes back, that card should be like 50 bucks in a 10. Like it shouldn't be any more than that. I just, it's so hard to answer those questions now with people expressing stuff and then like, I need 300 bucks for this Eevee promo. It's like, there's no reason that card should be that expensive that quickly. Meeks, I don't know if you saw, um, if you saw in Discord, I tagged you in the Patreon area. So now you can see all the top secret channels. The discount is between 7 and 8% on all your live break products. If you are a Patreon 3 
tier three or higher. How about Shiny Ditto V Max? That one will be a little bit higher. I think that'll be higher than the talk toxicity. I think like the Lapras and Ditto will settle in in like two to three hundred dollars for a ten for a while. Uh, and then when bulk comes, it might drop a little bit, but. Uh, the Charizard will always obviously be the highest one, but I think your Lapras and your Ditto VMAXs will be just shy of that. Ditto is also playable. What's up, Slab Sniper? Welcome. Two other dogs is shiny. We need the uh we need that, but we also need we need the major rares too. So we got Reiku. And we got we got Reiku is an amazing rare. What I miss? Uh we just pulled a couple packs so far. We've been we sorted bulk for a while. We're just talking about the Pokemon market and everything. cards come in the Japanese tag team packs is it 10 I, it's 10 because it's a premium set yeah definitely need more amazing rares tacos coffee and torque your ticket that's what you missed <laughs> if we're getting a ticket has been a huge part of the stream Shining Suicune is a toss up. Yeah. How do you sort your bulk? Yeah, commons on commons, and I do regular rares with it because it's the pay rate on the rares is not really that much different. So I do commons on commons. And rares, I do energy separate, and then trainers, and then all reverses, even if they're trainers, I guess, and then all hollows, and then I keep all the GX and all those other hits because I uh, I like to give them away or whatever else. Japanese Kyogre amazing rare is awesome. It seems like Kyogre was the easiest to pull in Shiny Star V, and then uh, in English, it's not the easiest one. I'm printing shipping labels right now for some of your guys' orders today already, so boom. They'll be out tomorrow, so you can real quick. Yeah, since the Shining Legends days, that's probably right. Be right back. I gotta grab some little, little bubble mailers.
Sending four Japanese covers in my bulk, yeah. I probably have like a couple hundred Jack Shiny Star V cards that went in in bulk. Oh man. I gotta get some smaller bubble mailers. These ones are too big for a couple cards. I think I had Evo packs. Uh, I just, I think I'm sold out, but I don't, getting fake ones? I haven't seen, I don't know, chat. Have you guys seen any Evo fakes? Because I haven't, I haven't seen any Evo fakes. I really, I really have not. Other than the, like, they were so bad looking that what's that like it has like the Caterpie GX or EX like it it was really noticeable I would just buy them from TCG player don't buy from eBay buy from Troll and Toad or TCG player if you really want packs especially if you're gonna open them uh, some of the TCG player stores they're they're good shiny vault shinies nines and tens I would say 50 to 100 uh, I think they'll hold a little higher but it just there's always going to be higher price if people uh, people send them quicker like express them they're going to charge more and then the market will go down when bulk comes back what's up what's up Harry welcome Welcome, welcome. Let's see, Discord. So, uh, Meeks and, and Benny, if you're here, make sure you check out under giveaways, the Patreon giveaway channel down, it's down in the public area Discord. That'll be ending today. We're up to 34 patrons, awesome. So I think for uh, I think for March giveaway for Patreon is going to be a full box of Battle Styles. So that'll be fun. Can I export this? I can, but that's Google. Alright. <clears throat> so we get any more orders, we'll rip them. Oh, we got one. I overpack my slabs when selling. I mean, there's they be more. They're never going to be upset if they have to. They're going to be more upset if they have to get a damaged one. So, this is what I have, guys. I have these bubble mailers from Uline. They're really cheap. Uh, or bubble wrap. So I put the PSA card in here. I seal the top, and then I just put this in a bubble mailer. So it's double bubbled. These are really cheap, and these are also good if you're like throwing some uh, like bulk into or something. Sometimes you can put them in here. But it's like the perfect size for a PSA card. Let me show you. Like this. Boom. I tape the top, put in the bubble mailer, and I'm done. But I don't have a lot of slabs to sell because I'm waiting on everything to come back. And then I'm holding a ton of stuff. link to those um just google uline bubble packaging uline and then it's like the six by four got my order 1601 okay we're doing melvin next and then we'll do six, six fifteen ninety nine fifteen ninety nine two shiny fates 
for Melvin M. How to PSA test never done it before. Shiny. I better bring the shiny face box over because that's what's that's what's still selling this morning. So I have three from Shiny Story, one English one, but silvering scares me. Hopefully, I've I've seen a lot with silvering and a lot with not. So you just never know. Sam, I would do your PSA. Anyone who's new to PSA, just send through middleman. Like, don't worry about your own membership. We're see Toxel. Here's a Toxel baby for Melvin. Coughing, Shinx, Spinner, Futsal, Q font. Oh, Lapras V. So two packs, two incredible hilts for Melvin. Congratulations. Yeah, I mean, maybe. I'm sure for every new person who gets in the hobby, there's people joining the play side. But I would say probably a bulk of people are just collecting. Yeah, I mean, it, people do have a lot of fear on it. It's not too bad. But, like, if you want to do bulk, you got to pay for your membership. And then the bulk price, like, if you have a membership, I have a membership, I pay more than, than those other companies do, like the middlemen do. And I get charged more than they would charge me to send them my cards so that is uh, frustrating to say the least all right thank you Melvin Next is uh, Sammy T, and then we got Rizwan again. All right, two hidden fates and two shiny fates. So I think this is my last. This is my last two hidden fates, guys. Last two. Don't know if I'll get more anytime soon, but good luck, Sam. making less trips and less uh, shipping. Yeah. I mean, Meeks, I don't have a problem with it either. It's just like, it used to be two months. So now it's kind of like, that's why I started building binder sets. Even with Shining Fates, I'm building a binder set and not even sending anything to PSA right away just because pulling stuff is making me sad because I pull it and I love grading cards and I'm like, all right, now I have to send it away and, and wait, so... Um, play steep it's a great game if you like snow sports it's like a downhill skiing type of game yeah it used to be like it used to be 30 to 45 business days and then COVID and then now everything's messed up yeah it used to be like $5 a card $10 is the highest we've ever seen we got a greed in greed in B Rates higher for people they know, in quotes. So, if you guys aren't aware, PSA was bought out by a collector, like, led by a collector, Nat Turner. And you can guarantee that people that have big money are going to get the tens. I think, I think that there definitely could be funny business going on there. 
with the people who have money to pay to get the tens are people who are connected. So I have 100 to CGD probably done with PSA. See the reason like if I knew I was just going to flip something right away, I would send some to CGC, but I really don't decide to sell my cards until they get back and I see what grade they get and I see where the market is or see how many I have. So I would hate to like send something to CGC and decide to want to keep it when I really want to collect just PSA slabs. So that's where my my heartbreak is with that. Is that Matt, is that like on a, a website or do I get that from like the Steam store? Yeah, so it really depends on what you want to do. But even CGC just keeps increasing their times. Yeah, grain their own tens no matter what. I, I doubt you're allowed to grade your own, but yeah, I'm sure buddy buddy system. Oh man. No no shinies for Sam. We're gonna do a sobble box for Sam. Add an extra hit in here. Out of four packs, no shinies. Hatterene. Giving out those Hatterene promos like candy. Yeah, so I think the guy who, Nat Turner, who's leading the way on the purchase, said that he wants to start switching to computer grading. To, and he expects the computer to only spit out 3% in tens. Which, on our, on our sports order I just got back this week, we pulled like 60% tens. So imagine, imagine 3%. It's a console game, okay. I only play computer. That would be the end of the hobby right there. Yeah. All right, turn that a little bit. Morning, Andrew. We got 1601 next. This is uh, Riz Rizwan going back with 12 Shining Fates. All right, cool. So we'll refund your shipping and based on the actual weight of your shipping. Um, right now you paid like a pound and a half, so we'll see what it comes out to be. So there's five, 10, and 12. Yeah, I mean, that's what they're, that's what they're saying. And, you know, who knows? But guess who the 3% 10s are going to be? <laughs> All the people that are... Uh, Connected. What do you guys are Meeks? I see you and Chris in here talking. <laughs> oh man! All right, good luck, Rizwan. Twelve packs. Hopefully, we end up at least six shinies. Yeah, employees. Not no, not it won't be the. Poor PSA employees. It'll be all the big investors that are buddies with Nat Turner because he's like one of the biggest sports collectors. EV and Frosmoth. What's up, Muck? Horsey, Stom, baby shiny, first shiny of the 12 packs. Yeah, I have one CGC card. I like the, the actual case itself, the, the clear part. It's pretty nice. I don't really, I personally don't like the blue and it, and I'm not even super OCD, but I don't like where the actual grade is like all in that box, like messed around. Like it's not, it's not nice. 
And Rizwan, if you're interested, we could do a no bulk, and that could save you uh, save you some weight on the shipping if you don't want it. But if you want your bulk, that's fine too. We'll we do whatever. Um, but yeah, like they print the gym mint, and then it's like the, their their label is off center, which is like it, I don't like how that moves around that little box. Choodle, Dreadnaw, and Delmise V Max, the old anchor and steering wheel. Trap inch, coughing. All right, no bulk. All right, we'll get your stuff sorted and then you, definitely it'll be a lot cheaper to just send uh, the hollow rares and above. Get a real boom hollow. Snom, or Peko, Choodle, Spinner Arc, Ball Guy, and Zarud. What's up, Zero? Good morning, everyone. Coughing, Trap Inch, Rallet, Choodle, or Peko, Applin, second little shiny here. And we got two, let's sleeve those. It's raining here today. Nickit, Grookey, Yanma, Morpeko, Trap Inch, and Manaphy. And we need a couple more shinies out of these last few packs. Yanma, Choodle, Tropius, and Zarud. We got like three Zaruds so far. I wish Zarud would get a shiny. I mean, I wish every Pokemon would get a shiny. There's so many cool ones. We need that Gengar. We need that Squirtle, that a Bubble Sore. Like, just give us, give us what we want. Rallet, Tropius, and Manaphy. Like, make a whole set that's just shiny bolt, but every card's a shiny. Basically, every every pack has a shiny hit, but just make it so big that there's not as many dupes. Like 500 shinies. I would be okay with that. Spinner Arc, Shinx, Coughing, Reshiram, and we got a double hit here. Bird Keeper, another full art trainer. Very nice. I think that's our first amazing rare of the day. Zarud V kills me in vivid. Do you? Yeah, the I love the pink Zarud. That's awesome. The 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 higher tier V hits in vivid voltage are crazy. I love those, like the Steelix, the Zarude, the Pikachu V, obviously. Loser has just changed his name. What the... Uh... Man, you guys are battling everywhere. What stream was that? Last pack. And Crobat V, finishing off with a Crobat. Is it not worth spending bolt because of the silvering on these baby shinies? I mean, you still probably might get a nine. Oh, Pokey Wave. Pokey Wave's always doing some stuff. He's got something going on. Uh, so, all right, we'll get this sleeved up. What's up, Kenny? Welcome, welcome. Um, I, I went to Pokey Wave's channel, but I haven't caught him live yet. I did subscribe so I can see the normal videos since you guys were, he was uh, in our chat.
Pokey Wave. All right, let me see if there's any more orders. Not yet. All right, so that's combined. We'll re Riz Rizwan, I will refund you based on the actual shipping. We'll get that out to Germany for you. Appreciate that. Um, I mean, you could just, I would just, if you're more nervous, just sell them raw and just tell people they had the silvering. Uh, a lot of people are building binder sets that really won't matter. Do you guys offer bulk shipping boxes for future orders? If I want to buy X amount packs one day. Yeah, Brian. So the if you go to the website and you go to the page, so we only offer the holding for Patreon. So if you go to Patreon only, there's an option for Patreon hold and I hold their orders. And then when they're ready to ship, they add the, the shipping and then the, t the shipping for all holds is 10 bucks. And then I refund uh, I refund. So, yeah, the the holding is. I got a little special spot back here in this in this uh, storage right there in that little box. Everyone's holds are in there, so it's just for. I only do holds for Patreons, typically. Um, do you sell packs? Yeah, Chris, we sell packs. I get paid Friday, but I live in Florida. Can you ship to Florida? Yeah, we ship everywhere USA. Um, but yeah, the Patreon's a hold item only just because it just like ends up being a lot when I don't have track of, of that. Um, oh, you're at work today, Meeks. Well, that's nice. I'm probably gonna have to get off in a little bit. Kayla will be home soon. We're gonna probably do some other stuff, depending on what she wants to do. I might stream tonight when she's busy. We'll do a night stream. Hopefully, get some some more people. Had a sick Pikachu shirt. Maybe I'll just try for ten dollars. Have to drop drop that link in Discord. Oh, I still got more time. see we check this stock here so we also so hidden fates is out oh you guys sold out vivid i put more shiny star v up i sell pokemon packs uh, P, uh, mcdonald's packs uh, fates collide i put up more i put up forbidden light for the first time i see there's no whole feature if i order more packs pedro so i'm trying to type that in patreon pedro if you go to the patreon only section on the sidebar and mark the hold button there's a or there's a hold item you need to add the hold to your cart and then when you check out i'll see the hold and then i'll i'll hold your items and refund your shipping and then when you're ready for me to ship your holds there's another item called ship all holds that'll be added to your shipping to make shipping ten dollars and i'll ship everything you're holding so it's a new system i need to make like a video for patrons to explain it but I can't have the, the Patreon hold as an actual shipping option. It has to be an item because all these people who didn't have it were marking it to get free shipping. And then I had to track everyone down and ask for shipping, which on mobile can be confusing because it doesn't necessarily show the full description. But like I said, go to the Patreon only member area. I'm just going to link you to it right here. That's the easiest thing. 
There's the hold option. And then here is the ship all my holds. Um, I think it's only uh, tier three and four, which will also get you the discount. I really only have, like, there's only two patrons that aren't a higher tier. And they don't buy anything, but... If you want the discount, Brian, it's three and four. And if you don't want the discount, I mean, I'll hold if you're tier one. It's fine. That's the way it is right now. But nobody from tier one orders because... They don't get the discount. I guess they just want to chat access in Discord. How much do you do for 20 Darkness Blades or Champion's Path? Yeah, Pedro. So just add that hold item, and I'll refund your shipping from your orders. But I think I already packaged one of your orders, but it's okay. I'll, I got it. I would check my phone. I would check, but my phone's slow. Uh, so Champion's Path packs are six fifty a piece, and then the... Darkness of Blaze packs are two for two for eight fifty, so four twenty five for Darkness of Blaze. We have more Rebel Clash. I added more Unified Minds, more Sword and Shield. I put up Steam Siege, two packs of Steam Siege. Yeah, if you want to do the three dollars and you don't want to do the five, that's fine. Uh, the three dollar a month Patreon gets you into the uh, monthly giveaway. Just let me know. Whatever you want to do. A new order refresh all right pager you did it hold my items two shining face okay so I will refund your shippings I'll void this label and we'll do two more shining face so here we go Pressure zone, pressure zone. My music stopped. I gotta turn that back on. Shootle, Morpeko, Yanma, Grookey, Nicket for the side of Charizard, and Shinx. Pinch, Yanma, Butzel, Rodham, and Chromorant V. Alright, so I'm going to add that to there. So let me get you a little box. Okay, so I just do a little, a little bin like this. This is for the Patrons. Slap this on top, and then I put everything in here, and then I ship it whenever you add the shipping item. There's a there's an item that says ship my holds, then I'll ship all your stuff. So we'll refund that shipping and mark that order complete. I'm 
gonna refund your shipping on the other one as well. So this is done. All right. So you're good to go, Pedro. Your hold is set up. Just make sure you mark hold every time you make an order until you're ready to ship. How are we doing, Muck? All right, I'm gonna open a few Shining Fates packs for myself right here. Just gonna open these last five from the box. Alrighty, a little personal break. Uh oh, I want to pull Zar, but I'd rather pull it for someone on the street, someone else. But all right, Chris. Well, whatever. What do everyone do? Oh, we got a Dartrix. That's good. We don't have that for our set. Benny, welcome back. Peko, Grookey, The Wacky, and Luxray. I think we have all those. I think we pretty much have... The only thing I think we need are some reverses. We need Celebi Reverse. And a couple other... A couple other reverses. Shiny Bolton, he's competitive. I heard... Ooh! Toxtricity VMAX, we already have that. But we might not have this one. Uh, Shiny V, Shiny Bolton, I heard was a playable card. I've not played the Pokemon card game except uh, when I was younger. I had the actual card game, like Game Boy game, so that taught me how to play the card game. So, I know how to play, but I've never played in person really with anybody, so. Yeah, I'm glad people are happy because a lot of people were like, oh, I want Gen 1, I want Gen 1, I don't like these Pokemon, and I think it's rubbed off on them. I mean, it does make opening other sets kind of lackluster because you're not getting the same amount of hits, but 50% pull rate is very fun. All right, last pack for me right now. Pizzol, Luxio, and Yen Mega. I think we need Yen Mega Reverse. So I got... I got at least one new shiny for our binder set, so I'm gonna add those in. I'm gonna do a split screen here with this somehow. Why is it like that? You grade certain regular rares reverse hollows. Um, maybe like Hidden Fates, Reverse Mew, I would grade. Uh, stuff like that. Scheduled for Wednesday. Could you open up my order? Okay, yeah. Let me... I gotta... Find that. That is order number... There's a bunch of pre-orders. Oh, that was all torts stuff. Friday night. You ordered on Thursday, I think, right? Alright. This is your... Oh, no. This is the one I have to draw a magic card for. This is, um... Tag All-Stars and Darkness of Blaze, right? Order 1535. Alright. Alrighty. 
hand drawn carp. I was gonna practice this week some more, and now I didn't. Uh, now the pressure's on because I haven't had practice. So, all right, two darkness ablaze. Hey Alexa, show me a picture of magic carp. Julius and Mimi Q. Mimi Q's in Darkness Ablaze? I don't remember ever pulling this rare, really. Wow. Is doing a rip and ship complicated or just sell the pack with Fire Edition Boom done? Think you can explain how to do one? Um, I mean, that's basically the, the gist of it. It's just having the infrastructure of having a website or having an easy way to order makes it better than people. Taking the orders is the, the most difficult part. And then shipping. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much it. You just need to have, oh, Dark Cry Reverse, rare, hollow. You need to have the uh, infrastructure. Like you gotta have some followers, some, some you know people that are wanting to, to buy. A lot of people do it on Burbank, like on Facebook, and they get a lot of random uh, viewers. So, oh, wow. Sub the first Pokedex, Lean Heart, and Breaking Nate. Uh, I would like to be put up there with those guys. Lean Heart, the voice actor, can't beat that. So this is uh, equivalent to a full box of GX All-Stars right here. Which I just got more full boxes in, so I'm going to have to throw some up. Yeah, I mean that, I'm not trying to be like offensive to other people like that are doing breaks, but there's a lot of people who just are doing breaks and then they don't, like nothing is clear and organized. Uh, and it just, it's difficult, it makes it difficult. So, Nate does like a lot of good videos, like Nate is, Nate does a lot of good videos. Love these packs. Zapdos. So like this is, uh, anyone not familiar, this is a specialty set just like Shiny Star V. You get two hollows, you get a GX, and you get two reverses. So in every booster box, you'll get two secret rares. What packs come in the Celebi Venusaur 10? I think you're gonna get a Sun and Moon, one other one, uh, you're gonna get at least Burning Shadows and you might get an Evo. The tins, it seems like half the tins that I'm, I'm opening have Evo, but you at least get a Burning Shadows. But I'm pretty sure the other one is gonna be Evo. Articuno Hollow. What's the case card in Tag Team? So basically Tag Team, ooh, there you go, Secret Rare. This might be one of them. Little Waifu Trainer action. Look at the, look at that. Misty? Um, the, the, ta the chase cards are the rainbows and the golds. The golds are exclusive, I think, Andrew, to the GX All-Stars, the gold versions of the tag teams. Um, this is probably, oh, B's awake now. This is huge. What's up, Jake? Jack, review. Just started to watch your channel and sub. Keep the good work. Well, thanks for joining us. What's the value on this one, B? This is a really good secret rare. We have not pulled this one yet. Misty and her mum. Is that really who it is? That's the one I wanted. Well, holy crap. I like when I can get people a card that they want. But yeah, there's essentially a gold version of the Charizard tag team in here that's really, really expensive. And see, you get a, you get a GX in every pack. So... I've been awake. I meant I meant like I woke you up in the chat because we got the we got the good card. <laughs> Not like you physically woke you physically woke up. Yeah, see gold gold star gold Reshi Ramon's art is four hundred fifty dollars raw. So that's one card you can get in these packs as your see you can get a gold card. There's another GX birds and two reverses. Why can't the English art? I mean we should get like is this, like, when are we going to get all these in English? Oh, man. Meme Q. What's up, Sebastian? Welcome. 
Jump Pluff. I remember the name, learned the name of this one and I already forgot. These packs are legit. Yeah, I mean, it's a premium set. So you're gonna get a lot. Uh, yeah, PokeRev just opens them. I'm sure he's got like his family helping, but if I was like PokeRev's quitting the member openings, Misty for eighty dollars raw. Okay. Um, if if I wanted, if like I was him in continuing member openings, I would hire somebody. And there's the Charizard Restroom. I would hire like a team and just keep pumping them out. But it is like opening that many packs is very exhausting. Plus the back half you don't see on camera is probably the worst. Porygon, Jolteon, Misty Rainbow. Oh, Rainbow hit. We got, it. We got the Espeon tag team the other day. There's the Den AGX. Um, and we've also pulled, we pulled Pedro Rainbow out of this. Got a couple more packs. Bikini. Absol. There's a nice tag team. Yes, he is Southern Jersey. Pretty sure. Mid to Southern Jersey. So I'm trying to get my golden ticket to the uh, to the uh, to go to the Pokey Cave. <laughs> you should do a golden ticket challenge so I can have a sleep overnight at the Pokey Cave. Flashoise, Buzzwall, and Trevenant, and a couple reverses. The music is slapping. Is it good? Like I, I always forget if it stops playing. I have to like restart it. Squirtle, Meltan, that one. Got another Diamond insert, Septile, and a couple reverses. All right. So cool that our secret rare was a nice tag team. I think of New Jersey, I think it's Sopranos. Oh well, yeah. Definitely Sopranos. Gone by morning. Yeah, I'm sure he has a very small amount there in the cave. But Tiny bit loud. I tried to make it was literally quiet yesterday, so I tried to make it a little a little quieter. Let's go right here. That's a little bit lower. Custom PC. Yeah, the didn't he have some of those in uh, in his boxes? Uh, yeah, cravings. We just woke up and I was sorting some bulk, so I went. I'm just live for bulk sorting and packs. If anyone's interested. Uh, team bags. You get team bags or graded card sleeves. Start using some of my EV sleeves. Also, I wanted to update you guys since we didn't use the scissors yesterday. I tightened the scissors here. Should be back to good. They got a little loose. So, my eBay store is being bought up today for my cheap singles. Uh-oh. The Logan Paul bounce. At the center of the Paragon building. The Pokey Cave is a basement. <laughs> Pretty sure. I'm getting into collecting. Any tips? Uh, well, collect what you like, not what people say is expensive. Also, buy the more expensive cards first, the more rare cards first. If you have the means, start with those because those are more likely to increase and become harder to get. So if you have like a $100 card you want, buy the $100 card first, not, not 10, $10 cards because the price will compound faster or it'll be harder to find 
in a quicker time. So start with your bigger goals first, if possible. If you got a couple big cards that you want to get. I thought that, but I I just didn't want to know, act like I didn't know what the Paragon was. So, I didn't want to be embarrassed. I drink decaf, so I really just drink it because it tastes good. I don't get any energy burst. I want a full set of Sword and Shield, but Snorlax is the prize. Yeah, didn't we just pull the Rainbow Snorlax for somebody the last Wednesday stream? We pulled that out of one of the packs. Or maybe just the regular regular one, not the rainbow. I'm using up some of my Eevee sleeves. It's a sweet card. A lot of sleeping all these up because these are these these reverses in Japanese are funky. Hey Tommy, welcome. Good morning. Everyone is invested in your ticket drama, bro. Uh, yeah, we're opening packs for people. I opened some Shining Fates for myself. So we're, we're hanging out. Having fun. Yeah, especially with Pikachu promos, if you're wanting to collect Japanese too, um, you're going to have... A ton of promos that are like basically unaffordable unaffordable I think uh, if I'm right this we got an order from so soba noodles here if I'm right I don't I always try to use your your display name I'm gonna go shop you going grocery shopping Tommy Two forbidden light, all right. Let's go on that, where did I put it? Two crimson. Two sun and moon. Rebel Clash. So a lot of two packs, two packers here. Hashtag free tour. Oh, you're going shopping in the store. All right, all right. Everyone hashtag free tour in the chat. Tort's got to go live tonight to pay off this $50 ticket. Guess they're officially Mario. I'm glad she found them. Did you open them yet? Oh no, all right. Let me grab an energy card. I'm gonna try this magic card. This is real quick here. You guys, you guys gotta hold me accountable on these drawings. All right, this is gonna be rough.
Am I drawing it on camera? Sorry, I was kind of to the side a little bit. All right. steel down there gotta make the lips like this there's another little uh, string here um, gotta do some scales I guess I should just like draw these on a piece of paper if I'm doing a full creature all right here's your king of the sea magic carp <laughs> I was looking at a picture so that helps but it's not terrible Uh, can't find the link. Here we go, guys. Pokeytubers.club. All right. You have to put your drawing request in the notes of your order if you want me to draw anything else. All right, so here we go for Soba. Pokeytubers.club, or there's the link in the chat now. Boon Sweet, Skarmory, Cutie Fly. A lowland duck trio that's a rare reverse and a cosmium. Cosmoum. Can you draw yourself? I only take non human requests. Ragnarola and wow. Wow. What is this one? I know this one is expensive right now. I thought this was one flying up the roof. Lily, 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 Lily. Huge, huge Willy. Congratulations. That is 147 and 149, so not even a secret rare. All right, now we got some Rebel Clash. When you spend money on Pokemon. Uh, so, you know, I've been, even before we started doing breaks, I do a lot of buying and selling, a lot of collecting. And Kayla comes to me and she just says, what's the profit? What's the profit? So, Chandelier, another inanimate object Pokemon. Forty to sixty dollars. Then Bonacle, Scyther, Bullaby, Dreepy, Cromorant, and Bolton V. There you go. Bolton. Alright, next we got two Unified Minds, two Rebel. We'll do Rebel Clash next, and we're gonna finish with Forbidden Light since we haven't opened any on the channel. Traded away my girlfriend. Anyone's house litter with cards. Uh I'm keeping mine relatively clean, besides like you guys want to look at this quick? That's all the bulk over there for Burning Shadows on that table. Energy, uh, just non-hollows, no reverses. And then the other stuff's over here, so. Other than that, it's pretty clean. Pretty clean. You need that bolt on. Well, then we're definitely doing good so far. Ghastly, like that art. Octillery. This one freaks me out. Look at this one, chat. This is like in a pile of mud or digging a hole. Diggers be. Kind of freaky. All right, second pack of crimson. Have, ha oh, fun, oh, oh, have fun, happy Pokemon day. Thank you. Gotta sell my graded CP's arts. Uh oh, our first Jigglypuff of the day. Drop those puffs. I see some emo people in the chat. Drop those. Jigglypuff emotes. Pikachu. Skidoo. Starly. Shelmet. Oh, wow. Another big hit here. We got the Rainbow Guzzlord. 
Yeah, I can't believe that either. We got a lot of rainbows, but just no... Hope this is one you need for your set. This is a secret rare. Hound Edge. Pikachu. High Dove. Poipole. Nummel. Zerkatry. Urkatry. Zerkatry. B he yum. That's a, that's creepy. Dragonair, I love that. That's nice. All right, another unified minds. Yanma, Young Goose, Corgonal, Litwick, Drillbur, Magnemite. And Tapu Finny. Look at that Dedene, it's cool. It's cute. Giant bomb. All right, time for the first Forbidden Lights here on the breaks. We'll see what happens out of these. Make a Lucario emote. So, guys, my request for five more emotes. We have the Sobble for the Sobble box. We have a Galarian Ponita coming. We also have um, a Marshadow emote coming. But the, we have to get more members to put up more emotes. But I have five more emotes being made. Uh, let me check the last, uh, the last ones. All right. Place the order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sobble, Galarian Ponita, uh, Marshadow. We're getting a Lowland Vulpix and a Farfetch'd emote. So those are our... Our five new emotes coming. New obsession with these cool post-it tabs. Yes. Here we go. Forbidden Light. Skidoo. Noibat. Inke. Aurora. Aurora Russ. And Heatran. Klefki. You guys know how I feel about the key Pokemon. And Yuxi. All right, last pack. Magnemite, Cubone, Bunnelby, Snover, Scatterbug, Magneton, and Toxicroak. Miss, miss print, Mesprint. And Floped it. Alright. Alright, so nice trainer hit, nice Bolton, and a few hollows. Love to see a nice mixer like that. A lot of cool, cool packs. Lily is definitely an awesome trainer to get. You're welcome, thank you very much. All right, got another order for Melvin with 10 more shining fates. And then I have another order for Victor after this. Three, four, five. All right, good luck here, Melvin, with 10 shining fates. We're still looking for that Charizard pulled by me. Anyone having retail luck with shining fates? Um, the best luck I've had has been Barnes & Noble and Walmart. Barnes & Noble people were very helpful. I was able to get some there. So this is uh, order 1604 for Melvin here. Good luck. Good luck, Melvin. I mean, a lot of the stuff that we got, guys, or I got, was uh, pre-orders. My Amazon, a lot of my Amazon pre-orders came through. A lot of stuff I was ordering back in December. Got lucky. Oh, we got a Cinchino and Cinderace V. Starting off with a double 
hit pack there. Very nice, Ty. Uh, no. I, I mean, Kayla doesn't, like, we go grocery shopping together, I don't really, we go to Target, we do look together, but. My Target is stocking this Monday. It's limited to two items per person. So I'm trying to get Kayla to come out and get out of bed and come with me if she before work. So we can, uh, she could get two items too. It's Sin Sino. Sin Sino. Sin Chino. <laughs> Sino. Sin Sino. Oh, Lapras V Max. That is a nice one there. Let's get that sleeve right away. It's very nice. Mini tents from Amazon. Yeah. I got two ETVs, a pins, and Pikachu box on Friday at Walmart. Awesome, Tristan. That's good luck. I was able to get some shiny paints at my Walmart Saturday. Right after we got our, we went to Barnes and Noble, went over to check Walmart, and the vendor was stocking. It was crazy. Our our guy moves it though every week, so like I wouldn't have checked Walmart if I hadn't been at Barnes and Noble, because he usually does like later in the night or in the morning, and it was like midday. Um, and Cinderace VMAX to go with the V. Uh, how do I like the EV sleeves? I mean, B, you probably felt them, but the EV sleeves are like more of a matte feel, and I, I like them a lot more. They're not that like shimmy shine, they're matte, and they, they feel really nice in your hand. So I don't really have any use for the sleeves, so I give them to you guys when you buy stuff. Uh, I don't really sell the sleeves, I just put some of the break cards in there. Choodle, Eevee, Horsey, and Rodham, another shiny, racking up the hits here for Melvin. We got five packs remaining. They feel like Dragon Shield. I mean, yeah, they feel like better quality, really, but Cacnea, q -font. Utsul, Spin Arc, Shinx, we got another hit here, I think. And more Pekko VMAX. Have not pulled that one very often. Yeah, Dragon Shield's what I have on my Magic decks. A couple boxes of those. Coughing, Horsey, Grookey, more Pekko, Spin Arc, and Frozmoth with a Rillaboom. Utsul, Coughing, Shinx, Grookey, Trap Inch, Q Font, and a Luxray. Another shiny hit. I think the best sleeves are probably Katana, Dragon Shield, and Titan Shield. I think I've only ever bought uh, Dragon Shield. Last pack. Utsul, Tropius, and Yen Mega. All right, so 10 packs. Here were the hits. I think it was pretty good. We got one Baby Shiny, two Hollows, a VMAX, another Baby Shiny, second VMAX, third Baby Shiny, one VMAX, four, and one V. So nine hits or if you take out hollows seven hits ten packs pretty good pretty good pretty good there melvin okay victor is up next with 
five shining fates. Good luck, Victor. The Charizard could always be in the next pack. You just never know. Yanma, Snom, Qfont, Grookey, Butzel, and Gossifleur. Gossifleur, shiny. Uh, Shining Fates packs on our site are eleven ninety nine. Nicket, Rallet, Galarian Weezing Reverse, and Professor's Research. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't do anything. I, I maybe we thought maybe that special delivery Charizard would come out, but Horsey. Oh. And Professor's Research back to back. Yenma, Shinx, Rallet, Eevee, Rodham, and Cromorant V. Cromorant. I want to say crow like a bird. Yeah, let me. Let me add the link. Uh, for some reason, it's not in the description of this stream, but let me add it into the, to the link and the video. And the you can always do the exclamation point order. All right, saved. That's done. Okay, last pack. I'm here, next pack has a Charizard. What's up? Grico. Choodle. Spinarch. Qfont. Rusted Sword and Dreadnought. All right, so five packs, two hits for Victor. Thanks, Victor. I'll be right back one second.
I'm going in again. You better pull the Zark. I'm going to get a snack. Early lunch. What's going on, Gianni? Um, I'll probably wrap it up by noon or a little earlier. Alright. Melvin's going back in. Oh, pressure's on, Melvin. Ten more packs. We had pretty good luck with you. One of those ten packs. Needs the Zard. Ten more. Here we go. Is the XY base a three-pack deal? No, it's just the one. Like, I just want to get rid of them, but the market price on those is so high because of the sealed collectability. You really got to get the Blastoids Venusaur. So read the descriptions. A lot of lots are two, one to two packs, unless you're getting a full box. If you apply to me, I'll sub. But Scovent. Scovent. I replied to you, so I expect to see you subbed. The chase card. I think the chase cards are Blastoid, Venusaur, and X and Y. I don't. I'm not sure what the value on those. I know graded in ten. They're really Primo, Primo cards. Okay, I will reply, but you already subbed because I replied. Um, Electrobus is my favorite. It's like one of my favorite hollows as a child. Eevee, Nicket, Horsey, Snom, or Peko, and Toxtricity V. And another Frozmoth. You're getting those Frozmoth hollows rolling in the door. Like Growlithe, yeah, Growlithe's cool. Growlithe and Arcanine. Hmm, three cups. So when you say cup of coffee, are you actually drinking eight ounces, or are you drinking the uh, like just a big cup? Because technically, eight ounces is your cup. All right, we got another hit here. Another full art shiny is Indeedy. Indeedy V with a Morpeko V, so double hit pack. <laughs> Mewtwo has common sense. Going back in with six more. Uh oh. Well, we will refund that shipping. Victor just shoots the same shipping as last time. And we'll refund for combined shipping. Toodle, Yanma, Morpeko, Eevee, Gossifer, and Yan Mega. Oh, Cinderace, you're Melvin's on fire today. No Charizard yet, but just a lot of hits. I see another hit here. Come on now. Shinx and Synth Scorch V Max. Another full art shiny here. Melvin about to have the full set. Oh, I gotta stretch, chat. I gotta work out today. After sitting yesterday for the four hour stream, or six hours, whatever it took us, gotta get my body moving. It was like a full work shift on a weekend. Nicket, Grookey, Spinner Arc, and Celebi. Coughing, Shinx, Grookey, Morpeko, and Thibault. 
two packs left for Melvin here. Any Zards? No, we didn't get any rainbows. I don't know how, but it didn't happen. Toodle, more Pekko. Stom, another baby hit. Yeah, I got. I'm gonna have to get more burning shadows and keep pulling until I get. Yanma, coughing, more Pekko, horsey, and finishing off with a thigh bowl. All right, so 10 packs. I think Melvin did just as good as last time. Like out of your 10 packs. These are pretty, pretty good. Melvin, pretty good. Three full art shinies. Two hollows. Three hollows, two baby shinies, one VMAX and one V. So very good for 10 packs. I see some more orders coming in. We got Victor again, and then Thomas. So we find Victor's pile. Victor, 1607. Six more packs. Six more Shining Fates. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess say I gave up on burning shadows. Yeah, just buy the Charizard, buy it. The grades a nine, whatever. Just buy it for five hundred bucks. <laughs> Be the easiest thing. Spin arc, Q font, Dartrix, and Dreadnought. Victor's trying to go for your. Here's our fly breaks are a lucrative business. Uh, I mean, there is a lot of work that goes into it, but getting product is probably the most difficult thing right now. Like I try to get enough that I can get uh, diversity in the packs. Also, I try to charge like, maybe not on the skew set, but just like what you could buy the single packs for off like Troll and Toad. I try to keep it pretty competitive. And there's Amazing Rare. Someone brought up, we haven't seen one, and there is the Avetal. Second one, uh, Amazing Rare of the day. What's up, Chris? Welcome. Butzel, Yanma, Trap Inch, Shinx, Rowlet, The Wacky, and Yan Mega. A lot of Yan Megas today. I try to keep my prices good. I just gotta keep hustling to get to get a variety of products. But Yanma, Snom, Q Font, Grookey, Chromarant, and Luxray. Shootle, Eevee, Nicket, Horsey, Snom, Manaphy, and Professor's Research. And so just one hit for Victor. I'm going to give Victor the Sobble Box because Melvin sucked up all those hits. We're going to give Victor a second Sobble Box on this order. Six packs. Twelve packs of Shiny Star V and only two Shinies. We'll add an Alakazam V for Victor. V for Victor. Alrighty. All right, that's 1607. We got 1608, Thomas, Thomas J with four Darkness Ablaze. Good luck to Thomas.
What's up, Raymond? Raymond T. Pull me the Charizard VMAX. Oh, this is you, Tommy. Okay. That's right. Thomas J, obviously. All right, I'm going to do my best. We just restacked some more Darkness of Blaze, so more Charizards to be had. Larvesta, Vanillite, and Delcaddy. Not one Zard, but they get a Mu V. Hmm. Usually you get like one in every one and a half, two boosters, so I'm, I'm surprised you didn't get one. Nicket and an Ampharos. Happy 25 years in one day, Sean. Yep. We're, we're now we're zooming to the 30th anniversary. Shellmint, Larvitar, Grimer, and Aridos. Oh, Butterfree V. All right, first V hit. Hopefully we can end this last pack with the Zard or another V or V Max. I like the Sizor, 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 whatever you guys prefer to say in this set. Purloin. Starly, Aeron, Cubchu, Rallet, Combustion, and Arctovish. Alright, no Charizard. We got one hit there for Tommy. Butterfree V. Sixteen oh nine. Ricardo B. With five Shining Fates and four Darkness of Blaze. 1609. Good luck, Ricardo. It's my last, almost my last five here in this box. Three, four, five. Three, four. And four DB. Are they like Shiny Star V with all the hit in one pack? How many cards are in Dream League? Well, total set's pretty big, but there's 10 packs in Dream or Dream League is five packs, sorry. And no, you can get a not you can get a whole pack with no hollows in Dream League. That's a normal Japanese um, base set. Like, so it's five cards per pack. Sorry, I was I was thinking GX All Stars for some reason. Here we go, Wimpot, Grimer, Clink, Ducklet, Mareep, Hippopotamus, and Gothaleo. Toxel, Skitty, Rallet, Wishiwashi, Qfont, Agron, and Suicune Hollow. This is my second order here. Hopefully there's something good. I hope so, Ricardo. Got a lot of opportunity. Full Art Pikachu from Dream League. Yes. That is a sick card. Sick, sick card. All the Full Arts in that set are beautiful. If anyone not familiar, Dream League is Cosmic Eclipse over here in the English side. So. That's a, yeah, Poke Kirby. That's the card to have. All right, last pack of darkness before we do the five shining fates. Man, my nose itching this morning. Dino, Passamine, Bunnelby, Vanillite, Cothita, Panseer, and Melmetal. All right, sleeve the sweet coon, and let's pull that Charizard Max. Horsey, Qfont, Choodle, Yanma, Grimmsnarl, and double hit pack, Chromorant VMAX. So I like the Grimmsnarl. Any top evolution that they make a baby shiny, I'm about it. Do you buy a lot of packs off of Poké Center or local stores? And, and Fimire is so bad they don't have a Steam Siege. Um, 
No, I, I don't buy off Pokemon Center. I get them in store, but I also buy a lot from like distribution and LGSs and stuff. So I work with, I have a couple suppliers that help me keep my packs. The first five, we got a Corviknight and a Glaring Weezing. So another double hit pack. Yeah, the darkness is a little cold right now. One V hit out of eight packs this morning. So racking in the shinies already here for Ricardo. Yanma, more Pekko, Coughing, Gossifer, Cacnea, The Wacky, and Volcanion. Gossifer, Yanma, Snom, Qfont, Grookey, Nicket, and uh, Professor's Research. Can't believe they made that a non holo rare and a, and a holo rare. In Champion's Path, like back to back sets Spinner Arc, Qfont, Snom, Floatzel, and Manaphy. Alright, another order popping in. Alright, Ricardo, so we got a Corviknight. Glaring Weezing, we got the Chrome Rat VMAX, the Grim Snarl, and Sweet Coon. So three hits, four hits from Shining Face, and one from DB. We will see if I can get order 611. Vivid has Amazing Rare Rayquaza, yes. It does. All right, up next, we got Melvin, Melvin again, then Russell, then Tristan. I gotta get my hands on more Vivid, me too. I can't ever, like you guys buy my Vivid out so quickly, so, so quickly. I can't even keep up. All right, Melvin, 10 more packs. Melvin wants a Charizard, but Melvin, if we keep up your same luck, you're gonna have a full set here really soon. Really, really soon. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, so 10 more packs for Melvin. Bringing back over Melvin's pile of hits. We'll add right to it. The scooped an old Rayquaza EX GX battle deck box. Nice display piece. Ooh, that sounds nice. I got a 10 hoping for Evo. I can't wait for Vivid reprint. Uh, I think they'll bring the prices down some if they can put it out really heavily. I don't see the booster. I don't, see, here's the problem. Vivid reprint might be great for retail stores, but for actual booster boxes, the LGSs, the online stores, like they're they're not gonna sell it for cheap. Like they might take pre-orders like 130, 125. But I don't, I don't see your online stores. Oh, Rushy Ram, another amazing rare from Melvin. I don't see the online stores uh, selling the Vivid boosters for cheap. I think 125, they might be the floor for those. Where do you buy packs? Do you mean me or for, for here? Need the Ditto V Max. Oh, and Baby Wooloo. I'm that. Try to offer Melvin for his Wooloo. I love Wooloo. I don't like Dub Wool, but I like Wooloo. Kind of new to the sets. How many Zard and Darkness of Blaze? Is it one V Max? Uh, there's a V as well in Darkness. Another hit pack here. Shinx. Gym Trainer and Delmize V. My address has a top resale, it's brutal, 150. Yeah, so like, that's what I'm saying. Even if they put out a lot of pre-orders, I don't think they'll let you pre-order. It won't come down, like you won't see under 100 buck. I do not have the cereal set. Oh, Glarian Surfetch, another one of my favorite Baby shinies. Melvin, you're having incredible luck today. Evo's gonna be the one to collect. Evo is very nice. 
Working on my full binder set of Evo. I got the pre-release Charizard at grading. Excited for that. Alright guys, yeah, I think we're going to wrap it up right at noon. So, if you're thinking about ordering, I'll go ahead and get those in. And Dartrix and Rillaboom. Man. What's a good price for a Vivid ETB? I mean, I wouldn't pay more than 60 right now. And I wouldn't open it. If you're looking to just get packs, I would try to find something else. Uh, but just keep it sealed. I can't believe they're, they're that much. It's just because the pack price is up. All Canyon. Alright, we got four more packs. I haven't got my hands on the cereal yet. I gotta get some of those packs. Celebi Reverse. And Delmize VMAX. You got the V and the VMAX. More sleeves. Are you guys doing this your set in reverses? Yes. We're so, all the sets we've been building are master sets, so we do in all the reverses. Grookey and Zarude. I can trade you for any baby shiny you might have dupes. Alright, I'll have to check. We haven't opened that much. Hopefully there's one that you need. But worst case, I, I'll just buy a Wulu if I don't pull it. Um, cereal packs be worth anything. I think just leave a couple sealed and see. And another Wooloo there from Melvin. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Another Wooloo. Alright, last pack. Last pack. Rowlet. Qfont. Shinx. And Galarian Weezing. So, not as good as your other 20 packs for luck, but... Still some good hit, still good hit ratio. Did you do the Patreon giveaway yet? What is next month's giveaway? So, Brandon, I got some new Patreon members today. We welcomed uh, Meeks and Benny in. Um, I'm going to type up that list this afternoon. I'm going to film a little video, and I'll either put it in Discord or put it on the Patreon website, and you guys can see it, depending if on Discord will let me upload it. Uh, and Brandon, next month's giveaway for Patreon, starting lunch first. Anyone who joins Patreon all of March has a chance as it'll be pulled at the end of the month. I think we're doing Battle Styles full booster box for a Patreon member. Uh, free USA shipping, any Patreons international will work that out. But I think we're going to do a full booster of Battle Styles. So there's your hits from your next 10 packs. I have three sealed in the whole McDonald's set. Patreon has multiple tiers. So there's four tiers to Patreon. Um, you can read all the... Uh... What's up, Brady? You found some Dollar General tins. That's awesome. What do Are those just like the normal tins or they have special ones? All right, Russell, you're up next. Russell's doing 12 Dream League. Almost selling me out. Russell, your your pokey cravings, right? Is that right? I want to see if I have a a giveaway here. Oh. So I got Tommy, 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 Tommy. There's your giveaway. Tommy, another giveaway. Pokey, pokey cravings. There's your giveaway. I haven't got the ship yet. That goes with that. All right, working it right along. So we'll add that to there, the reverse Charizard. I just hadn't got any stamps yet. So 12 Dream League, that's probably almost all my packs of Dream League. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. That leaves four Dream League inside. Two lots of two. 
I put on hold or at this point. Chris, so I don't know if you put any on hold. Um, there is an item under Patreon only. Uh, if you go on the website, that it, uh, marks hold. So you got to do that for me to hold it. Both my US Arts came from Dollar General Tins. Wow. That's awesome. So Dream League is the Japanese version of Cosmic Eclipse. Hopefully we get a couple full art trainer features. I like getting some Japanese packs here so I can get the scissors. The scissors going. See, look, they're working. They're working good now, chat. We tightened them up. We're back in business. 100,000 snips was advertised to me by Scotch. So better get my full full's worth. Then after this is Tristan is next. Uh, is it for the month of March? Uh, if you join today, you will be entered into the February giveaway, which is a couple theme decks. Um, if you're not interested in that giveaway, you could join tomorrow because they charge you on the first of the month. So if you join today, you'll pay for next month, the beginning of March, but then, then it resets back to normal. So you get a GX in your first pack. Okay. Well, that's what I, yeah, that's probably right. Cause we combined two sets. Yes, you can move your level up and down, I'm pretty sure. Anytime. So it's really up to you. Uh, tiers three and four are the discounts for the website. Uh, but you do get the, the Discord access. So anybody who joins Patreon, even at a dollar a month, gets the private Discord area access. Which is beneficial if you're looking to collect and get deals or get some stuff for the next test. Oh, we got a secret rare. Imagine our Vob Plume. We pulled one of these last week. Congratulations, Russell. Pokey Cravings. You got the secret rare Vob Plume. I think we pulled that from another, this week for, I forget for who. So I'll be, yeah, so the, you would pay for February and then be charged again for March. But yeah, it, it charges upon joining, but if you wanted to get in the giveaway for this month, it'd be make sense to join today. But. Got a drill over there. Mimi Q. Help the toad, size the toad. What's up, Anu? Welcome. We're getting wrapped up here shortly, I think. Drillber. We might go live again tonight. Yeah, Tommy, that's fine. And no way. There you go, Cravings. You got it, buddy. You called it, you wanted it, and here it is. I think this is the second time we pulled this. Congratulations. Another secret rare out of your packs. Uh... No, I wasn't planning on doing giveaways today. I'm backed up on giveaways from yesterday and this week. Um, if I stream tonight, I'll probably make it 25 likes as a giveaway. I just don't know. I gotta do some other stuff. So, Drillber. Last pack. When do I have to do it for March? Uh, Tommy, if you join by the end of the month, you're still entered in a giveaway. But if you want to start getting discounts on your packs, you got to be a member before you place those orders. Cause I have to do it. I have to add you and give you the code and all that other stuff. So definitely do it before you plan to uh, join a stream and buy. But if you want to just try to win the giveaway battle styles giveaway, it's by the end of the month. So you could join the last day of next month and get in on the giveaway. So we got those, we got these bad boys right here. Three drillbers, yeah. <laughs> Three drillbers and the best card from the set. Pikachu. Thank you, Russell. Let me get your Charizard sleeved up.
Yeah, that, that would make sense. All right, we're going to close order in eight minutes, guys. So if you've got an order, get it in, get it in. I might be back live tonight. I got Trisha and I got Chris. So Chris, use the Patreon discount. You did the hold, so that's perfect. I'll refund your shipping, Chris. And then I won't ship until you add the uh, the ship my items. All right, Tristan's going in with the, the Celebi and Venusaur 10. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna do a giveaway today, maybe tonight. I just didn't plan on getting this many people this morning. Oh, I, I'm, I gotta get more stamps for giveaways. All right, so Venusaur and Celebi 10, very cool. I know you guys are hammering them in now. Yep, seven minutes. I need to go eat, go eat lunch and I got some other stuff to do. All right, there is your promo, pretty cool. All right, praying for Evo. We got Crimson Invasion, Burning Shadows. If you pull the Charizard, I'm gonna freak out. Sun and Moon and Evo. There you go. So it seems like pretty consistently these tins that I've got from this batch have Evo. <sighs> yep, that's how we do it. Yeah, I, I, luckily you guys gave me enough time to get all the uh, bulk sorted. So. Got all that done, but now I have new bulk to sort, so. 1612. I'm just gonna do a bag. Evo last, of course, of course. We'll build the hype. We're gonna start with the with these other sets first. Good luck. Christian. Give away the code. All right. All right, so we got some codes to give away. If anyone's here for codes, we're the code people. They're sleeping in. This is the code for the promo. Here we go. Sun and Moon. Stuffle. Polyrath Reverse. That's a reverse rare. And a Mask Green. Oh, you guys are racking them in right now. Whew. Crimson Invasion. I had to turn on my sound so I would know when there was a new order when I was sorting bulk. Is the music still going? Yeah, we still going on music. All right, I have to keep checking it. Swin up, Numble, Mincino, Execute, Gore Guys. That's the spooky Halloween. Oh, hoo -hoo! lose a mind. Luz of mine. Full Art Trainer, 110 of 111. So another Full Art Trainer hit. If you get the Rainbow Zard, I'm gonna freak out. I gotta give away these codes, I almost forgot. Do I enter the code at the end of the discount or is it tie? You gotta enter the code every time. I tried to tie it to accounts and didn't work out. So enter the code JimMint10 if you're a Patreon. Let me know if you have any trouble with it, but you gotta use the same email that you used when you signed up for Patreon. Alrighty. Horsey, Mudbray, Ladybug, Hoot Hoot, Passamane, Galicipod. Oh, code, code, code. Luzamine, Luzamine, Luzamine. Burning Shadows. I got a message from Kayla. I got to respond. Uh... All right. Evo pack. Let's go, Tristan. Charizard, 30K, 30K. Energy. Pikachu, 50K. Growlithe. Machop. Reverse Voltorb. And B draw. Here's the code.
Um, Chris, we honestly might have already shipped stuff. So we'll have to let Tort know in Discord to, if you order from him, to bring it over. But unless you mark that, unless you add that hold item every time, we're not gonna, uh, we would end up shipping it. So I, have to, I don't, I didn't look at the orders you placed with Tort, but um, I'll check. All right. Just in case nobody got the last code. All right, gotta check something real quick, chat. Because I have to go grab an important document real quick. Um, Kayla's doing something with taxes, so let's see who's next. Next is that was Tristan, and we got Chris, and we got Victor, Andrew, and Seth. So Chris, you're up next. Give me one second, and we'll get this order ripped.
Welcome live. Marty, thanks for becoming a member. <clears throat> Alright, I see Tori wants me to open their order. Alright, Tori, hold on. Let me write that down so I don't forget today. Because I was away from the computer. But up next is Chris. Try and play this lasagna with mozzarella right at noon. Whew. Sorry, guys, that took a little longer than I thought. Um, trading, I mean, I'm not an Eagles fan, so there's, but I'm a Jalen Hurts fan, so. Hold. So, 2DB. One above the bonds. One shine star V. One shine fates. The last four of the Dream League. And two unified minds. For Chris. I'm just a Jalen Hurts fan. I'm a Sooners fan and a Cowboys fan, so I'm like the opposite of an Eagles fan. But uh, or I think I closed orders at noon, but. Yeah, so we got left, we got Chris, we got Victor, Andrew, Seth, and I'm going to do those two for Tori, and then we're done. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm rooting for Jalen Hurts, so I'm excited for Jalen to uh, get a shot. But I mean, the Eagles need so many pieces anyways. Like, it's it's uh, rough. Marvesta, Stini, and Bertic. Once became Tebow number two. Uh oh. Make sure my chat's still on. Cowboys. Yeah, not very good either right now. Without Dak, they were cooked. It was absolutely terrible. And Grimmsnarl V. Finally getting a V from Darkest of Blades. So shout out Chris for the Patreon. Uh, I'm from Oklahoma, but yeah, it hasn't been easy. You Eagles fans are mean. Dratini reverse, that's a cool one. And a Wimmy Scott. And there's a Dragonair in the same pack. Boon Sweet, Sandalit, Scraggy, Tiny Ammo, Cubone. Talon Flame, and look at that gold hit. 250 of 236. Cheris Ball. Yeah, we'll see what Wentz does. I mean, Indy had a pretty good team with Rivers this year. They have some wide receiver talent, and then Frank Wright obviously was his former coordinator. So I would expect Carson to look way better because he's going to have Pittman, Hilton, maybe still still healthy. Could be a whole different ball game. So we got a few orders left. We're closed for orders. And everybody closed for orders. I might be back tonight. Tort may be back tonight. Ralts. Piplup. And Clefairy Doll. Drill Burr. Fishing Rod. You're sending me a Wooloo? You have my address? I need to get that Ponita too. That Galarian Bronita. So the last of the Dream League. Finishing off with a tag team. One more pack. I have more Dream League coming, but I'm not sure when it's going to be here. You guys will know when I post it in Discord. Live break, channel restock. I just think... I just think the... Uh, The team is not good. The line is rough. The receivers are rough. Carson battled last year at the end of the year to, like, make plays and just get the team into the playoffs. It was crazy. Like, he did it with basically no, I say no health, but. 
I don't know. They're moving on. All right, the Eagles are pretty much accidentally the first team to end, I guess. Yeah, the first team to try to just, like, run it on a rookie quarterback. Like, just keep getting new quarterbacks as rookie deals and spending the money elsewhere. All right, well, appreciate that. I would love that, Wooloo. Got a Galarian Obstagoon. And the Reshi Ram. Amazing Rare. And Dragapult VMAX. Nice, Chris. The Amazing Rares in Japanese are a little different. I was trying to point this out to Torp. See that little diamondy texture is different than the English ones. Howie needs to go. Howie went from being super praised to hated. I mean, if you draft Jalen in the second round and then get rid of Carson because he can't, doesn't have any playmakers, it's kind of messed up. So, Unbroken Bonds is the last pack for Chris. Doduo, Spritzy, Gligar, Gasly, Grubbin. Triple Acceleration Energy, and a Wimiscott GX. So let's get Chris a little a little hold box, since Chris is now holding. So here we go, Chris. This will be in the holds back there. And... If I talk to Tor today, we'll, I'll have him look over any orders that you placed between the last couple breaks. But stuff from my Wednesday break is probably already shipped. All right, Chris, going in the, the hold bin back there. Put this in here. And now you are held. All right. Oh, my back. Stiffity stiff. All right, Victor. Victor, Victor, Victor. Victor has four more Shining Fates and one base set. XY base set. Want to save that for last. Just got my packs from Wednesday. All right, good, good that they already got there on the weekend. I try to be quick with it, guys. I spend a lot of time Thursday getting them out. Want to give away my hold box? I guess we can do that, B. I'll go dig it out. B can give us a one, a one-off giveaway. More Peko, Nick it, more Peko, and Delmise V. Peko, Choodle, Nickit, Grookey, Yanma, and Reboot. Baby Shiny Reboot. Good morning, good afternoon. Hello, it is just turned good afternoon here on the East Coast. Coughing, or Peko. Dartrix and Dreadnought. More Peko, Spinark, Snom, Grookey, Eevee, Galarian Weezing Reverse, and a Rillaboom Hollow. Hello, what's your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is Electrobuzz. What is yours, Alana? Good night from Indonesia. What's up, Nefa? All right, we got this base X and Y pack. So we need the Blastoids or the Venusaur. I just got a new order, even though I was trying to close orders at 10. I probably need to make a new thing. Um, I'm gonna talk to Tor today. Since you joined Patreon, he could bring me, bring me those. Um, but you got it when you start ordering the site. If you or, or add the hold item to your cart every time, then it won't be an issue. All right, so here we go. X and Y base set 2014. Chespin, Tallow, Spritzy, Ladybug, Lillipup, a Reverse Semi Sage, and Aegislash. 
All right, guys, for real. I'm closing orders. I'm closing orders. I don't know who this is, but I'll watch. Well, hello. Nice to meet you, clan. Nice to meet you. Next is Andrew E. With two Japanese bags. 1615. Stout is a cool one. <clears throat> one of each. One of each for Andrew. So here we go. Lots of hits. You're going to have 10 hits at least here. 10, 10 cards. Start with the tag all stars. I think we're due for another secret rare from here. Stun fist. Nine tails. Got a marsh shadow. There's your GX hit. And oh ho ho ho! Let's go. There's another secret rare. We were due, just like I said. The EVGX. That is so cool. That's a beautiful art. We're gonna put that in the EV sleeve. Congratulations to Andrew on that. Do the shiny star B packs next. We have not pulled a Charizard yet. Galarian Rapidash, Balloon, Stone Joiner, Galisi Pod, and Ditto V Max sniped the Eevee. Yeah, this Eevee's awesome. Do we do we have that in English in any set that I'm aware of? But orders are closed. We closed orders at noon. We get these last few done. We may be back tonight. Thanks, Andrew, for snagging that beautiful Eevee. It's a promo in English. Okay. I just I don't remember seeing it. Don't you hate it when they take a nice card and just make it a promo? Is anybody in here excited for the uh, EV Heroes set coming up? It's going to be sweet. What's up, Max? Welcome. We're getting wrapped up here, guys. Next is Seth. Welcome back, Seth. Seth has a tag all stars, two shiny V, and four champions path. Seth, you did mark the standard this time, so you will get all your hits. Seth L, right there. Tag all stars, two shiny V, and champions path. We're gonna start with the champions and mix it up. We just opened a couple of those other Japanese sets there. The champion's path, don't jinx him, don't jinx him, chat. Nick it, Kakuna, Ekans, Scraggy, Full Heel, Sonya, and Lycan Rock with the hollow. CP Zard would be nice. We pulled a couple recently. Got some more packs in from that, so you never know. Kakuna, Hatiana, Inke, Swablu, Ekans, Reverse Energy, and Hatterene. Had to do it. Uh oh, bring the Zard hands. Ha bring the Zard hands. Cheeks, what up, Cheeks? We're just getting pretty much wrapped up here. We got like three or four more orders, and then we may be back tonight. 
Port may be back tonight with Pax. Sizzle Pete, Roly Coley, Inke, Nicket, Hetiana, Turnfield Stadium, and McChampion's Path. There you go. Shout out McChamp. McChamp. I call it Professor Research Path because that's the one I get. Tomorrow. What is your favorite set? I like the gym sets. Gym Challenge and Gym Heroes are my favorite. Full picks. Fair Energy. And there it is. Professor's Research Path. Yeah, I mean, it's it's brutal. Like, you got to get the Garvador's or Charizard. And a couple other ones are nice. The Full Art Trainers. But those are pretty hard. Those rainbows. So we got two Shiny Star V and one GX All Stars. So if you're not aware, I take all my packs of boosters of these, open them up, and mix them all up so the hits are random. So everyone has a fair chance with the Japanese product. All right. Five little peers. Alchemy. Clarion Farfetch. And Rillaboom VMAX. VMAX hit. With Shiny Star V, every pack is a winner. That is correct. You get a bunch of cards. Half the pack is hits, essentially. The links. And we got a Frozmoth. Uh-oh. And, oh, the Rose Full Art Trainer. Cool, cool, cool. I thought it may have been Marnie there, but not this time. So we got a Baby Shiny Frozmoth for Seth. And the Full Art Trainer. We always have a chance at a God Pack as well. All right, tag all stars. Piggy Peck, Paris, tag team. We got Reiku and Loudris, I think. Our GX and a couple reverses. Nice little Kangaskhan. So some nice hits for Seth there. Thank you, Seth. Thanks for joining us again. Looks like a middle-aged F1 race fan. Yeah, I thought Rose was like in a suit. Then all of a sudden this art, Rose is just like bloated. Absolutely bloated. All right, I'm gonna start a pile over here for orders. All right, I think I'm gonna do Tories next because a couple of the next orders were placed after the cutoff, but I'm gonna sneak those in. Uh, so Tory, Tory will be next and then the last two will be Ricardo and Mr. Clifton. So Tori, we got two orders for Tori, 1540 and 1528. So 1528 is six champions. Six. Ricky, Ricardo. And 1540 is 8 DB. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you will be refunded, Tori, on these two orders based on your actual weight of your package. All right. Flaming Dark. Welcome. luck here going for the Charizard V Max or Shiny V. Terrablast, Belton, Simmy's here, Galicia Pod, hope, I hope Tori's still here. I saw Tori in the chat told me to open these two packs. Open these two orders. Shelmet, Larvitar, Grimer, Centret, Sweet Coon Reverse, and a Hoopa, a Hoopa Hollow. Trap Inch, Jigglypuff chat, you know what to do. Drop those Jigglypuff emotes and type the puff. 
Markovich. And wow, gold hard hit, our second of the day. That is a secret rare. Capture energy. All right, Tori, cool. Let's touch gold card. Oh, put that there. Larvitar, Grimer, Dakamita, Centret, Aridos, and oh, nice. The upgraded Butterfree B V with the nice, nice orange background. Very nice. I love this one. I have not pulled this one for my set yet, so that's a beautiful one. Simi Sage. Nick it. Boon Sweet. Snubble. Meltan. Ursa Ring. And wow. Another hit. Pokemon Breeders Nurturing. Full Art Trainer. 188 of 189. Congrats on that hit there. I'm going to go ahead and top over some of these. What's up, Auto Gods? Orders are closed, everybody. Orders are closed, but we're, we're still ribbing a few more here on the stream. Cool, cool. Some good hits for Tori with a few more DB packs. Yeah, so they're they're just trying to hike up the bids and mess with people. Jigglypuff. So Cheeks, you should check your settings to make sure you have like block troublesome buyers on and if they uh get reported then they'll um then they will then they won't be able to bid on your stuff so you have to turn that setting on snubble taros rookity mr mime marini and tapu Coco. Boon Sweet, Snubble, Meltan, Bunnelby, Paris, Dracovish, and Swana. Time for some more champions pack. Mune, Carvana, Swablu, Sizzlepede, Weedle, Vulpix, and Zygarde. Hollow in every pack. Carvana, Potion, Rockruff. Weedle, Swablu, Potion, and Galarian Obstagoon. Sorry, baby, you got this. Time for Pokerev and Philosophy Homer. Uh oh, Pokerev, what's he doing today? Machoke and Altaria. Pokerev doing member member openings. Ekans, Nicket, Roly Coley, Scraggy, Kakuna, and Zygarde. Is Champions Path gonna give us any hits? We did well in the Dark Sublays. Members opening. He's still not done that. I thought that was like gonna be over. Last another thousand packs. Yeah, he's getting close to being done. Chiselpeed. Uh oh. Chat. What do we have? Oh, Suspicious Food 10, gold hit. So two gold hits for Tori right now. That's crazy. All right, well, I'll get wrapped up. You guys can go watch PokeRev. Um, I might be back later tonight, Cheeks, but orders are closed. Uh, orders are closed. I got to go do some other stuff. Tort might be live tonight. I might be live tonight. We've been live since, like... 
four four hours of this. Jeez. Sizzle Pete, Hatiana, Nicket, Swab Blue, and Lycan Rock. All right, thank you, Tori, for the big order. A couple orders. We'll get your shipping refunded based on the weight. I'd rather be here. Yeah, it's more fun when the chat's smaller. Uh, but I've just given you guys a hard time about leaving me for rev. All right. Two more orders. Two more orders. Ricardo and then Mr. Clifton. So we got Ricardo, which I think Ricardo already had an order. So two unbroken bonds. Two DB. Two forbidden light. And two sun and moon. All right. Oh, that's Fate's Claw. We want sun and moon. All right, Ricardo. Wish you luck here. Nice little mixer. And we will refund the shipping since it's your second order. Sandile, Kerbrawler, Drowsy, Grubbin, Firo, Young Goose, and Ryumbi. Ryumbi. Four blisters I want to open. Uh, what set? Of Sun and Moon or some other set? Grimer, Clink, Skitty, Pansage, Rookity, and Greedent. We're gonna save unbroken bonds for last. That's my that's my set of choice out of this one here. So I mean that is the business of it. I think you know all the people that joined got their money back, but ooh, Salamance V Max, little DB action, the. Like, if I'm making that much money at any point, uh, I will hire people. I will literally hire people to sit here and, and sort and get shipping done. I'd have a whole team and just try to keep it going. But it is, like, after you go, like, like over three hours, it does get a little tiring. Your prices are actually really good. That's rare. Well, thank you. We work hard to try to keep them, keep them competitive and you're not paying a premium for us opening your packs. Orders are closed though, Sammy T. Uh, what's my name on Makari? I think my Makari link is in the is on um, is in the description, but I don't know if you're talking about someone else. But orders are closed right now. I might be back tonight. Tort may be back tonight. I'm gonna call him after this and see what he's up to. But uh. I've already been live for four hours. I didn't think it would go this long this morning. Funnel B, Snover, Cubone, Hound Edge, and B Synergy, and Dialga GX. All right. First time pulling that. Dialga GX. All right, two unbroken bonds. We have one more order and then we're saying goodbye, guys. Drowsy, Ekans, Poliwag, Koferi, Caterpie, Sandile, and Weezing. That's a sick art. Eradicate. The unbroken bonds has some really, really cool art that I like. Litten. Lickitung, Spiro, Meltan, Rhyhorn, Cleffa, and Darmantian. All right, Mr. Clifton, you are up next. So Ricardo, that was order. Let me make sure I write this on your bag. 
Order 1617. Last order of the day. Is a Patreon automatic? Yes. So Cupcake, you joined the tier three. So you get, uh, I think, three or three, three entries to the to the Patreon automatically. Let me view the public page quick. So level 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 three gets three entries, and level four gets ten entries. So we're gonna pull that giveaway later tonight. That's going to be for the Vivid Voltage and the Evolution Steam Decks. All right. Last order of the day for today, for the stream. Four Shiny Star V from Mr. Clifton. Good luck. Last four packs of the day. Yeah, I'm gonna film a video later with the giveaway. I gotta set it all up and get all the entries typed out. Got a lot of Patreons this month, so. Pokey Kid, Marnie, and Zard. Uh-oh. Whew. All right. Looking for that Marnie. We've pulled like two or three of them on the channel since we started opening Shiny Star V. See how we can do it here. Katarine, Hoopa, Toxicity V, Roly Coley, Choodle, Stunfisk, Darmantian, and Galarian Weezing Shiny. There we go, baby shiny hit. Bringing those Zard hands, Cupcake. Let's see if we get that trainer insert. Bundle B. Sobble. Mr. Rhyme. Dragapult V. Sweet Coon Hollow. <laughs> Zard hands. Drop them Zards. We got it for you. Not the V Max, because it doesn't. It's, it's the V. It's the V. There we go. Nice way to end the stream. Luckily, there's one more pack. I wish it was the last, the last pack. Everyone at Tort, tell them I, I pulled the Zard. Pulled the Zard. Very nice. Very nice. We got one more pack for you. One more pack. I think this Zard's like around 150, right? Right now? I think we pulled three or four of those. We pulled Pedro one, we pulled Scott one, we pulled a cup two of the V Maxes. We got one more pack for you, Cliff. Mr. Cliff. And then we're gonna shut down the stream. And then B volunteered to give away his box for a giveaway. So we're gonna have one person win a giveaway here in a second. Barascuda. Baby Ducklet Shiny, nice. Miltic, Colossal, NRV. All right. Amount of sleeves here. Better grab some more. Bring me the Zard hands. Get this Ducklet sleeved. What's up, Ashmi? All right, let's do this giveaway and then we're done for today. Congratulations, Mr. Clifton. Do you have any talk to your streets? I do have some dupes, I think. All right, Mr. B, give away my hit. I'm just gonna do this. I already got your stuff like packaged up, so we're gonna do we're gonna do this one. So B had a couple of these pre-release kits. Let's see what's all in here for you guys. It's gonna have the the Volcanon Steam Siege pre-release, and then B has 
there's a bunch of other cards in here. You're going to get this sealed pack. You're going to get Yvette Break, Inferne Apollo. Um, you're going to get the Sun and Moon pre-release. And then all this bulk. Which if you don't want it, let me know. But this is going to one winner right here. One person, one chance. Let's go. Good luck, chat. Good luck. Make sure you're subscribed if you're new. We'll be streaming later. Drop those thumbs up. Drop those comments, and oh, didn't even know they were in the chat today. Pigmento, congratulations. Pigmento, please DM me again your info. I know you want another giveaway, but I will need your shipping info. Congratulations, man. Thanks for B for sponsoring the giveaway today. We may be back tonight. Appreciate everyone for doing a little Sunday morning stream. PokeTuber caps available on the website if you want to rock your PokeTuber cap. Got a few left of those until we order some more merch. That's all I got for today, guys. Thank you very much for the new members and everything. We'll catch you on the next one.